Hello. Wait, hold on. Why is the thing spinning? Now okay. it says you're live. Hello, everybody. And I probably picked up a little bit before there. Anyways, welcome welcome to uh, 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 episode 46 of the Pretty Good Enough broadcast. We're going to have a new name now because because Pegasinals was great. Uh, the, 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 the stationary just doesn't look good, though. So we're, we're going we're gonna, to... And also, the uh, first episode of trying a slightly new stage arrangement there's going to be a slightly new format to the show eventually i've got some things that i want to try but this is still going to be uh volume four yeah it's still, season four. still season four season four episode <clears throat> one season four is where we where, where it all went wrong guys um oh man they changed the name they started changing the format they brought just, the old they completely man lost on. who they were no we've had you on before then <laughs> we've had you on before oh yeah why didn't Where's your? Uh, going to be. Oh, who's here? I don't think it's Nate. That's going to be. Nope, uh, it's McKinley. McKinley. Yep. But anyways, we got a McKinley in What's there. What's your roommate's name? Or Lauren. 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 Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so it's it's it, it, it's a new new thing, new 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 studio ish. Not a new studio. It's the same room, different camera angle, different cameras. Do we want to get a different booth setup cam okay. sample? Yeah, we got a booth got cam. Hey. In the booth. Hello. I missed the memo. It's the Halloween party. Well, yeah, I I dressed up. <laughs> was, a your, responsible your, human. Uh, <laughs> bat, uh, lumberjack Batman fan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You are a lumberjack who is a fan of Batman. Canadian Batman fan. Canadian <laughs> Bat fan. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. So you're Kevin Smith. Wait, is Kevin, is Kevin yeah, Smith Canadian? Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. I can look it up. But he's he's located in LA now. Oh, well, yeah. But but I think you're right. I guess you'd need like a jersey. Canada. Doesn't he have like a signature jersey that he wears? Uh, That's I don't, right. So you're just a Canadian Bat fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm like... It's uh, good though. Trailer Park Boy Batman right? fan. Yeah. It's good. It's good. But um, yeah, I'm a I'm a, I'm a Jedi. Obviously, we have uh, 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 Ani in the in the booth as as the the Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. Mad Hattress. Mad Hatter. Is there? She's still the Mad Hatter. Are there gendered yeah. terms yeah. for so for the <laughs> Mad Hat Hattress would just be the mattress? No, that's <laughs> not. That's the Mad Hattress. I am the Mad Hatter from Frank Wildhorn's musical Wonderland. Gotcha. I'll have to look that was one played up. by a woman. It sounds. I'm blanking on her last name now. Never mind. Blanchett. Not Kate Blanchett. Blanchett played the My Mad Hatter. My brain said Kate Winslet, and I know it's not. It's not either of those, but it's fair. a it's a Kate, and she's Beckinsale. A really good Broadway singer. Kate Beckinsale. No. Who's another Kate oh, actress? I'm only gonna know Hollywood up. actresses anyway. I'm not gonna know. Yeah, any you're Broadway. not gonna know this one. No, no I think no she's Kates. been in a film. Hmm. In the way that Kate Edina Middleton Menzel has been in a film. Adele's uh, been in a film. Uh, <laughs> Idina Menzel, I think. Adina oh, Menzel. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Adele Dazim as uh, John yeah, Travolta. Yeah, yeah. Idina Menzel. How do you get from Idina Menzel to Adele Dazim? I, I just I let it go, man. Mulling let back in my head, like how does it make sense? Because like I've 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 gone to say computer and said piano and vice versa and so I feel like if anyone is going to be able to relate to John Travolta in that moment it would be me and yet I still can't in my head I'm trying to find the right switches to be I, in what position to I, go for I cannot afford the amount of drugs that he can't the... <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, I will that's never fair, the Kate I was thinking of is Kate Schindel Schindel Kate, Kate Schindel wow okay. I would never guess that I'm a yeah. big fan of her list it's it's Schindel's, Schindel's List. list. <laughs> Schindel's list. It's Frank Wildhorn's musical ab- adaptation of Schindler's List, starring Kate yeah. Schindel. Yeah, where he uh, yeah. gender swapped the main character. <laughs> yeah. It's his thing. Just like with the Mad Hatter. That's right. Right. So is Alex. The Mad Hatter, like the, ma- Alex, the main character. Alex in Wonderland. Oh, man. Let me tell you, there's too many spins on Alice in Wonderland's name for like fan theories. And by too many, I mean one. But it was really... Th- th- have it you, was really bad. Have you ever heard of Splintered? Has anybody in here ever heard of Splintered? I have because of you. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've gone on this tangent. I don't think on the show, though. You heard a splintered so. McKinley. We have one uh, random we- audience member, folks, and it's it's strange. There's a, there's, a, there's a microphone here that I'm not sure if he's just nervous to take over what he is pretty sure is going to be Nate's microphone in the future, or he just doesn't want to get involved, and so we have, like, a strange Adam Goldbergian yeah. presence he's looking, that may or may not rush the stage, but we have no guarantees. You can't interact. You don't have a mic. There's no... If He's we interact with opening. you, we ruin the show until you're here. You've walked on the stage before, and now I'm doing what I just said we can't do because it'll ruin the show. Um, but 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 it's it's it's, Way it's, to it's go. interesting. Have you broke the show. <laughs> <laughs> no no, don't tell him that. That's what he wants to hear. That's what he wants to hear. That sounds that's music to his ears. Um, episode title. Have a seat, McKinley. Thank you. Come on, everyone. Welcome to the stage, McKinley. Woo! Okay. What's McKinley's music? Uh, we don't know yet. What would what would Hello? be your uh, what would be your my my walk up song? Your walk up song. Uh, Actually, I know this. Like, if we wouldn't hey, get banned, can and you everything. can you go to the desktop, Ani? Just uh-huh. go to the desktop. There's going to be a file. Once that again, you're don't let me explain. Play. Yeah, no, don't let him explain. <laughs> we'll, let okay. his explanation. we'll let you react. We'll let you react to. Yeah, uh, this is Taylor's his Jedi music. mind trick. Uh, <laughs> the last time you did this to me on stream, it was uh, the Fortnite song. It'll say eighty. Click on the hover over the center of the eighty six dot mp three. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> click, <laughs> click on it once. <laughs> click on it w- just the once. Now press the space bar. That's my best Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> You're in the right place. This is this is McKinley's walk-on music. Should I go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the one, the only, the infamous <laughs> McKinley <laughs> Warwick. <laughs> What'd you go for as for wow. Halloween? I went as an entire Let's crowd. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Nice. That's great. Yeah. Now I go. dressed as some kind of a dirty troll. I hope, you know, it didn't really fit the, it's a classic. Fit the theme. <laughs> Here he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say actually that uh, speaking of that Fortnite yeah. thing, that the the Wombo AI, the, the time you did <gasps> that on the show, you remember right. that? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, wasn't that using a picture of Ani dressed as she is now? Oh yeah. It was. Am I, yeah, am yeah, I yeah. misremembering that? That's the great. The last time that, that I correct. wore this was two years ago at my there work. Oh wow. That's where that picture was from. Oh, wow. So keen-eyed viewers will recognize this uh, rare special edition Ani. It's good. Hooray. Then you sent me doing ooh, ee, ooh, ah, i did i did i did and you might have been wearing flannel i know you were in one of the selfies <laughs> that you sent i don't know yeah. if it was the one that i picked nice and then just three days ago my sister sent me a wombo oh really of my nephew and my niece singing the monster mash that's nice. out, thanks gotcha. to a timeless classic the Honestly. wombo face app yes wombo um, AI. apparently we're still doing it people are still doing it that's surprising. Cra- yeah, I mean, no. I, parents I was of small amazed. children are now doing it. That's, that's fair. That's it's finally cycle. trickled down to homeschool moms. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm. Shout out to homeschool homeschoolers. Yeah. I was going to say shout and out moms. to homeschool moms. That just sounded... Shout out to homeschoolers. <laughs> shout out. Um, but but Homeschool graduates. Woo! Uh, Where are they now? If there is oh. such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. (laughs) (laughs) This show is for us. In case you needed a reminder, my bad, my bad. This show is for us. I didn't need the reminder. Moving on. So, is there actually two other people (laughs) watching, or what are these numbers at the moment? I don't know. I don't know. I try not to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's in all the all the all the videos on list of things not to do on a live stream. It's always like either number one or number. It's between number one or number three is reference the number of people watching. They're like, just don't do it. Just don't. Yeah, but it's well, fine for no, guests. It's fine for off. guests I was say and co-hosts. Two hundred and you right. cut me off. Well, yeah, right. that's, 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 <laughs> it. All factors in. It's, it's all good. You just did it again. I was at two hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> can we uh, can we get some more of this list? I'm really list? curious. Here. I... Oh, things not to do on yeah. a live stream. <laughs> Talk <laughs> about religion or this. politics. Yeah, okay. no, don't, don't, really? don't. Uh, 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 it's just things like watch your plosives. Uh, don't, mm. don't. 
Uh, don't tell people to subscribe or like the video outside of the one place where you've decided in every stream you're going to subscribe or like the video. It's just a lot of etiquette things, like things that you shouldn't do, just things like, that are bad taste. Don't point this way and then the thing shows up over there. <laughs> yeah. I'll randomly be uh, That's fair, Nate, I guess. No, I think you count. I count. I, th I, I count you because I'm greedy. I'm going to count you. <laughs> it's the only way that I exist yeah, because I am observed. For the viewers at home... Taylor is talking to someone off screen. Talking to someone in the chat. It is yeah, always is acceptable to interact in with chat. chat. Wait, also, so don't ignore the chat. the chat. That's also in the live yeah. stream stuff. It's yeah, it's right there. On the right. Okay. Over to the right. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this new me, setup's pretty Let me get nice. my phone out. I'll yeah. watch. <laughs> I'll I finally sure. devised a setup in which I don't have to yell at people to please don't step on the cords. So I'm very happy <laughs> about that. That's a strong feature. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I assume the booth would be on camera, but it's it's not. It is, which is, it's got booth? its own camera. Oh it's yeah, not always yeah, on. Yeah. It's I got have a, a separate camera. camera. Yeah, I, well, I was, hello. which is even better. Yeah. yeah, I was I was trying a setup where the booth would be. Well, we call oh, the, booth the booth the table. Yeah, oh, we call the table I'm the, the booth because it's the sound booth. No, this, oh, okay, this table. Okay. It's all good. Mia's booth. Yeah, <laughs> but then that then, is stage. Yeah, you had to you had to back things up too far to get everyone in the shot, and uh, you started to lose details and things, and it was it was it was rough. Yeah. Good stuff. So well, it looks like here. it's a good setup for whenever you're ready to Hooray. do the role playing game stuff and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, when do you want to come do that? Uh, next week. Cool. Yeah. I mean, sounds good to me. I should have checked my calendar first. That's fair. Well, if you if you, if you if you if you find out between now and next Saturday that you have a scheduling conflict, you can. Um, and if any of you out there have any scheduling conflicts you'd like us to be aware of, you can email us at pretty good enough podcast at gmail dot com and just let us know how it's going. Let us know about all your scheduling conflicts and how much they upset you. How's your schedule been, McKinley? Uh. <laughs> How's your schedule been, Ani? So scheduled. Gotcha. Hey, so. Would you want to buy some uh, zines? Ad space in my zine. I put. I, you want to buy some ad space in my sh live stream? <laughs> <laughs> I'll well, advertise. This you advertise my live stream. This isn't supposed to be advertised. This on is your underground, zines. man. I okay, know. that's fair. This isn't mine. What are okay. You yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a real one here. Before folks. the show, we were we were going over. My my my, my dad is an artist, and he's he, he's made he he's experimenting with zines, and he made a really cool Reformation Day themed zine. That, that I was I was going through and it, it's really cool. You guys should uh, uh, we should uh, follow fo go to my Instagram. I, I I told you all to do this with the bat that was in Ani's apartment complex and <laughs> I did that and so I know that if I make that promise I can come through on it. I'll, I'll take some pictures of the zine if that's all right with you. Yeah. And I'll put them on my Instagram account uh, Taylor well, Dutch Willing on Instagram better, and even, you'll even be better. able to. It's a scavenger hunt because they're going they're going to be pamphlet they're just going to be. Distributed throughout the city. Really? Tomorrow night. Nice. Or if you're in the uh, so Overland if you're, Park, if you're Lenexa fueling up at a area. quick trip, <laughs> look around where they have the veteran folds of honor yeah. uh, little things and how to get a quick trip card. Yeah. yeah. Look in there. You might find one of these just kind of stuffed in there. That is That's zine cool. culture. It's I'm very fun. curious about the distribution plan here. Yeah. This is. I'm gonna get like. This is the kind quarter, of thing I'm into. Quarter Stirger. gallon of gas at one quick trip. A quarter gallon of gas at another quick trip. <laughs> Just make sure you have like a little tab of tape for some of the locations because it might oh, be yeah. windy. Well, have you never looked over there? What? It's a yeah. No, there's the thing that has the little, yeah, yeah. You put it yeah. in. Cause yeah. Because what gave me the idea was I would find tracks in there. Ah. Uh, now this is nothing close to a track because it's so. Uh, it's like page after page of non sequitur. It's like what <laughs> is what? It's fun. <laughs> but uh, that's part of the fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Once you get a couple of, if you get a couple issues, then you're like, oh, I think I see what's going on. It'll be good. Then the next issue comes out, ah, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah, trying to add up to some kind of bigger picture. Yeah, but All I'm right. going for a, a monthly public publication and distribution. Sick. If anybody else wants to get into uh, zines and learn more about them, you can Google zines. And if you want some examples yeah. of uh, great zines, Pretty good enough you, can, something similar. you can scavenge around the Overland Park Lenexa area for uh, yeah. uh, this zine. It'll be black and white. It's a beautiful zine. Or you can, and you can also go and uh, uh, Google Lisa Hannawalt, uh, Raphael Bob Oxberg zines. Oh, yeah. For, That's uh, Bojack I'm not going to spell it for you. Yeah, 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 the BoJack Horseman people. So just watch BoJack Horseman, write down those creators' names, Google that, and put Zine at the back of it. That also works. Or you can buy BoJack Horseman, The Art Before the Horse, uh, the, the illustrations book. 
<laughs> and you'll hear all about scenes there. <laughs> There's also this plug has evolved so <laughs> radically. I, I'm thinking of doing a, a spinoff, uh, 13th Tale. Uh, <laughs> ah, wow, that's the a deep cut. Of the show, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Horrifying. I still have that book in my Audible library. Yeah. Do we have a chat? Have you read it yet? I've, now with five percent less yelling. Are we yelling? Are we yell? Are we yelling less? You sound like you're being sarcastic, Nate. That text sounds sarcastic to yeah, me. Yeah, when isn't he? That'd be. It's <laughs> a good point. That is that is uh, widely accepted as the Midwestern accent is just sarcasm. Fifty percent of it is the sarcasm, <laughs> and the rest is ranch references and hope. I gotta say, I love Midwestern stereotypes for the most part. I you That's don't get good. the ranch being one. You don't one, get the ranch one. What do you mean? What? Ranch dressing or ranch life? <laughs> you notice I'm they're wearing both, a shacket. They're both Midwestern. <laughs> Again, another great yeah, callback. Yeah. That's a beautiful callback. I enjoyed that. But ranch top tier. I don't get the ranch. Oh, it's a thing. Like ranch living? ranch dressing. No, the dressing. The is, dressing That's is the... kind of a Midwestern obsession. Oh, other than blue cheese, which we is put the ranch on everything. Right. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I always. You ever see someone put? Out. Ever see someone put ranch on hmm. pizza? Yes. Isn't it sad? <laughs> Isn't it? I'll be like. Can I get a side of blue cheese and a soda? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the two together. We know you're not from around here. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I the Midwest is the one place where, because people will talk about the, the different words for, for carbonated yeah. beverages. Soda, yeah. yeah. Pop, soda, you go Cold, down to Coke, some places Coke. it's all just called Coke. Everything's Coke. And then I feel like the Midwest, as far as I can tell, unless this is just true everywhere, and this is completely just an urban myth that these are localized. Hmm. But as far as I can tell in the Midwest, this is the only place that I've just heard everyone ever say all of the different words for for <laughs> carbonated uh, well, uh, the corn syrup based beverages yeah like all blood runs through here well it flies over it nah, nah, see, <laughs> see but the language belies yeah, that yeah like the people the people who just fly over us they, mm -hmm. but that's not the majority of the nation right. that's fair like that's majority fair. of the nation because yeah. you're never you're never uh the people in power are never the majority. They right. they represent <laughs> the majority. Yeah. Uh, All government is a pyramid scheme, people. One of our viewers is not live in the chat, but just texted me that barbecue was better on pizza. It's barbecue sauce. <laughs> well, right. Yeah, there's a lot more <laughs> barbecue pizza than ranch pizza. Many officially. things are better than ranch on a pizza. It's Oh, my camera's <laughs> over there. I'm, oh, uh, but remember, uh, remember, maybe not. You were... You were how small, small was I? I remember going to Worlds of Fun when I was four, so I might. You might, but I, I changed the job when before you were one. Okay, uh, and I started working at Interstate. Yeah, that's but the first place I remember you working. Before that, there was a place in Raytown, Missouri, where they gave honey, in like little honey bear squeeze bottles. I remember the honey bear be squeeze put bottles on your crust. So you eat, yeah. the, eat the pizza, oh, yeah. and then you would put the honey on the crust. I remember we would do that at Italian Delight. Shout well, out to I, Italian yeah, Delight. Think, Rest in peace. Yeah. This is the second Italian Delight reference you've made. In, yeah, in so the days. Italian Delight off Johnson Drive, it's dead. No! There's one other. With I think the there, murals on the inside? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. He has no idea. This He's never been there. It, it, it's fine. Great. He's not a local. <laughs> This is, um, no, this is really funny to me because I heard you enthusiastically describing Italian Delight the other day, yeah. and for you to, and I'm like, okay, I'll take your word for it. And now you you bring up basically the exact same things, <laughs> and it's just an identical copy of that fandom. Now his word is corroborated. <laughs> now we're gonna yeah. tell the story about the, the Pepsi inside. swig. Anyway, right? Yeah, that um, was during Bible quiz. But. It was. It was. We did a thing in sync, and a lot of people freaked out. It was strange. Um, <laughs> we didn't accidentally, to, yeah, like yeah, we, we just happened to, yeah. yeah. Like father, like son. Some going on. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. sometimes, sometimes um, eerily. So, and a lot of times, so like you tell a story, and then mm -hmm. I show up and I tell a story. Right. Like it's this. just this good. happens all yeah. the time. <laughs> this happens all the time. Episode title. No. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Yeah, I need to stop doing that. I'll make a joke and then I need to I need to just let jokes hang. I'll I'll, I'll I have this bad habit of saying no directly after. Yeah, and I think a lot of people it. do. Everyone just want well because everyone has the impulse to make sure that everybody knows that they're joking. And and you got it. You got it. That's that's an impulse to lean away from. It's fine if you really? tell the joke. Anybody? Yeah, no, because because anybody who isn't going to get that you're joking mm -hmm. isn't the audience for that joke. You're not telling the joke to people who the joke is not for. Mm -hmm. so so forget the people who the the joke is not for well and I the audience like... for that joke is only going to be put off by 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 holding their hand and saying now this is a joke yeah you feel like I, i'm more often guilty of the opposite yeah you know where i'll not say something and, yourself yeah yeah and and well, someone dude. somewhere will be like what does that mean you know yeah. and uh, th that's fine that's fair yeah. i but just keep doing what you're doing. I don't think there's a blanket. Uh, uh, my point is I don't think there's one piece of blanket advice that's going to just apply to everybody. Hmm. That's what I said. Um, but <laughs> yeah, no, it absolutely. No, of course right. there isn't. <laughs> End of discussion. Yeah. <laughs> we, have the final, we have the final word on the that. The final word. Yeah, except for so. that advice. Right. That All is always remember is that not. there is no, <laughs> yes. there's no blanket Never say always, advice. as I like to say. <laughs> Yes. Always, never say always. I just say always say never, because like, then every time that you're 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 wrong, it's just a good thing. <laughs> Unless the thing you're saying never uh, about is horrible, in which case, oh uh, well. There's no way to be happy for? forever. What are we drinking tonight? Uh, it's a Monster Zero. Has no sugar in it. Okay, cool. It doesn't have aspartame in it either. It mm. uses sucralose. So That's a big deal. They haven't discovered. Or they haven't released the information. <laughs> it hasn't Not been yet scooped. known yeah, to hasn't, cause cancer in the state of California. Hasn't scooped yet. Yeah. That's so. cool. That's cool. I'm with it. And uh, over here, something uh, Yeah, flavored. this is Spindrift, sparkling water <laughs> and real squeezed fruit. Yep. Uh, that's what happens when you press a ZR in Mario Kart. It wasn't even done. <laughs> okay. This isn't the full title to the drink. Wait, what? No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no, this okay. is pretty great. It's no Spindrift, way. sparkling water and real squeezed fruit. Uh, new new uh, font. Yup, comma. That's it. Period. <laughs> okay. No further it's, questions. It's, it's awful. It tastes like a. Here's the ir irony of this drink. It tastes like dehydrated strawberries, and I don't know how Man, they got water liquid, to yeah. taste like dehydrated it's strawberries. Like yeah. Especially when it's raspberry lime flavor. I don't. <laughs> Not even strawberries. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, there's some kind of science to that. You add up a raspberry and a lime, and you get a strawberry. Strawberry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the deal with how? Uh, can you explain the deal with how What's limes the and deal? well, lemons and limes? They're the same. <laughs> how lemons and limes are the? Too. They're not separate fruits. They're the same fruit, but there's something what? different about them. But no, they're the same are... thing. Limes aren't a different. Apparently, apparently, I've heard yeah. this, and, and it might just be another urban myth. Like maybe it's everybody key says soda pop is different. different way. Maybe lemon and lime normal yeah. are the same, and, and key, key limes lemons. are different, like mandarin oranges. Okay. Well, yeah, because I mean, they're, they're different smaller. fruits, but they're the same. It's it's like it's like if we called like cherries, uh, uh, white white orchard cherries and black cherries separate fruits. If we had a different word for them, mm -hmm. like a completely different word for them, right? Yeah, well, allegedly not, that's the not deal with lemons and limes. everything, but like all scientific categorizations, a little bit arbitrary. Hey, right. Taylor, would you like a fact check? Sure. Here we go. Do it. What's a fruit? What's <laughs> Only a vegetable? If it's on Taylor. What's a nut? What's a seed? <laughs> all right. So we got lemons are citrus limon, limon and lime citrus latifolia are very different species and grow naturally on different trees. Although, like all citrus fruits, it crosses easily and can be refined and chopped so that they can be effectively produced on the same tree. Ah. So you're kind of correct. So the ones that you buy in a store are most likely the same, uh, grown from the same trees. Probably, just because like, the places that are selling these things in bulk Maybe. are probably trying to be, uh, uh, what's the word for it? Thrift. <sighs> Something like that. No. Uh, efficient. Uh, efficient with their use of orchard space. And they're like, oh, we can, use, we, can, we can plant fewer trees. And, you know, companies are always all about planting fewer <laughs> trees. So understanding, so they graft the right. lime yeah. branch into the lemon that's what, tree. That's how I interpreted it. That. And then they both grow yeah. on the different branches. Yeah. Still. So they're naturally Sweet. different that's fruits. That's awesome. 
but they are grown on the same tree or can be grafted in That's together. like the liger of fruits. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's my favorite animal. Hmm. It's a good one. Part lion, part tiger. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> then it turned out it's real. Lions that like that's to swim. Right. Yeah. Well, they're giant too. I don't. But the liger that's in Napoleon Dynamite, I think that he was making that up out oh, of really? his head. Interesting. Based it on sure the drawing like that, that at the time, did. right? Yeah, yeah. Based on the drawing that was in his uh, yeah. spiral bound notebook. <laughs> that's probably like part of the joke, a, right? I, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Well, they're bred for their magical properties. That's oh, the other yeah, thing yeah, he says about yeah, them. Okay, so yeah. it's like okay. Come the man's not a zoologist. Well. Man, have the Napoleon just... Bonaparte guy. Bonaparte? What? <laughs> not Bonaparte. Dynamite? Dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Computer piano. Same He's going to be a guest. <laughs> yeah. Tomato, That's potato. Yeah. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. Yeah. I want to say this is like the second Napoleon uh, Dynamite corner in it is. like three episodes that I've been on. Uh, yep. That's a good sign. Right? Yeah, because a we lot had of Lauren on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We had everybody oh, on, man. Yeah, that was the big one. That was the special. Lauren's, it was a big one. It's one of Lauren's favorite movies, if not her favorite movie. It's a Midwestern classic. It's a Midwestern Apparently. stereotype classic. Yeah, they use a lot of ranch in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> not in the movie, but on set. Oof. Craft yeah. <laughs> Services was sponsored by Craft Ranch. Craft did the craft oh, services for that movie. When they do that, they drink the eggs. I still haven't oh, seen this disgusting. movie. It's disgusting. Yeah. Don't they just no. crack a bunch not, of eggs not a and once. swirl it up and then they're just uh-huh. drinking it? Yeah, the the whole FFA thing. It's when they chickens, man, they've got talons. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty uh, great. Yeah, when when are you going to see Napoleon Dynamite? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. I I was just I curious no. if you had like kind of a sense of that in yourself like what would it be uh, what would the thing be people tell me it's the best movie in the world it. or it's their it's favorite the movie i don't movie know in the world. i've heard well yeah i've heard a lot of people tell me that i've heard mm-hmm. a lot of people tell me it is there's I've also heard a lot of people say it's yeah. their favorite movie it's worth watching uh, i've it's heard a lot of people tell once. me that i don't know i don't think uh, i'm especially gonna especially if you're into independent guerrilla style film mm. it, it's worth yeah. seeing i have no doubt it'll be worth seeing i just don't know if I'm, I'll, I'll probably walk a into bar, a room where it's playing one day i'll sit down and i'll watch it for a bar to clear you'd be like yeah i can make a better movie than that <laughs> <laughs> absolutely that, that's where i 100%. see 100 uh, that's think? where i see the benefit of. Well, that's yeah. what i watch nacho yet, libre for yeah it's a piece of yeah. budget very filmmaking films. history but yeah. nacho libre you had jack black though so yeah. like i don't think napoleon dynamite did it have any big name actors in it that Probably would have not. demanded a lot of money. The girl that played Deb has been in a lot. I don't remember the actress's name. Yeah. But, but they go on like, I doubt that she was right. like a high, a high, high profile. Not at yeah, the time of filming. Pay. So that's all I'm saying. Yeah, and wouldn't have been a draw to the film. Like, right. I think that Jack Black could have been a draw for Nacho Libre. People would be like, oh, man, he's funny. I'm going to go watch it because right. he's in it. But Napoleon Dynamite had none of that going for yeah. it. That's why I think it's good. Watch it and be like, oh, yeah, we could do that. Let's do I, it. I'm sure yeah. I will. I'm, I'm well, really interested I, in the uh, the career, the progression that happened here. There was a, a black and white short film oh, that yeah. sort of it reads like Napoleon Dynamite abridged, right? And that's where they started. It became a feature length movie, Napoleon right. Dynamite, that we all know. There was like a really short lived animated series. Uh, the creators went on to make another movie that was even uh, cheaper and eh, worse. I'll say it worse. But it feels like some kind of uh, attempt to recapture Napoleon Dynamite magic, not with the same characters, but with too much of the same tone. And like that, that progression what was it called? really interests me. What was that one called? Uh, something about Bigfoots. It's like a Bigfoot club or something. <laughs> I wish I could remember. Like a Sasquatch club? Like they're a club that's devoted to trying to Yeah, they're find trying Bigfoot? to find proof of, oh, that's of pretty Bigfoot cool. and grab tracks and things like that. Um, uh, yeah. That's one of the... the 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 original short film is called Palooka. If you want to check that out, okay. Go ahead. Just listening to somebody talking about Sasquatches and Bigfoots and, and mm. like footage and stuff like that, and it just well, it's huge uh, in the northwest, yeah, in the no, northeast. Yeah. The Patterson footage, man. That Patterson <laughs> footage. That Patterson footage taken by that guy that came out later and said, "Yeah, no, I was just messing with you." And then people still to this go. day say, "This is this is totally the thing." It's like the Heaven Is for Real book. It's, it's yeah, yeah. What happened after the release of the Heaven is for Real book? Oh, the kid said, yeah, no, I was just... Yeah. I was lying. Yeah. yeah. How about that? But people still say, no, look at this book. This proves... Well, that's the words for real. even made it to a movie. Yeah. 
it was yeah a book, it got made and it got it made a into a movie after the kid had come out about it not being <laughs> about him not being for real uh, that's the and least they were still like thing. no we can make money anyways <laughs> the kid probably wasn't that old at the time was he no yeah that's was amazing like eight, that he was like, it's like he was like the balloon boy of the american evangelical yeah. world yeah unfortunately it's his very parents apt. were like the balloon yeah. parents right the yeah no that's the yeah it's a human instinct apparently it's cross cultures everybody same, does it it's like dreaming dreaming lying <laughs> holding on to lies <laughs> holding on to someone else's lies well trying to become famous not forever yeah Ser- seeking so hard for your 15 minutes yeah of fame or someone else's if, if, if you can be well, adjacent if, if you, enough. Yeah, if you need to use somebody for you right. to get on. Yep. Uh, like I waited 20 some odd years to finally make it on a podcast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You waited uh, 13 some odd years to make it on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. Cross grain radio. That was yeah, a real yeah, thing. Yeah, that's right. I was on iTunes. That's probably still out there. Somewhere. Uh, if you Google cross grain radio, you'll probably find and An- Andy's first podcast. Really now? I'd yeah. be willing to bet. First time hearing. That's cool. That's cool. It was thinking that went against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> it, had a, it had a theme song. It was great. That's nice. So I can't Sweet. find McKinley, your reference of this Bigfoot club. Oh, thing, yeah. But Paluca? I did find... I did, <laughs> Well, Palooka is a was the predecessor of Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, okay, That's and that is on here. But Jared Hess, who was uh, the writer of Napoleon Dynamite, I did not realize was also a writer for Nacho Libre. Yeah. Ah, interesting. I knew that they were very similar films. I just didn't know I knew that they, were, they were the same actual writer. So yeah. that was interesting. Yeah, I love that. Did you not tell him they were the Lord's Nacho Chips? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> just like what <laughs> that is my pastor's favorite movie interesting <laughs> that's i know nothing about i had no either. idea that was anybody's favorite movie it is my pastor tony's <laughs> it's curious favorite movie. to me hmm. tony felich yes well he's no, a or presbyterian yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> kansas is a small place people <laughs> well he used odd. to be on the radio I don't oh, really? know if he still oh, is. Yeah, they had so, the. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, the yeah. radio show. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think, I think they're still on the radio. With they the also, sermons, and they stuff. also stream. I listened yeah. to their live stream last week, two weeks ago, whenever it was. I wasn't feeling great. So yeah. It's like, oh hey, I could just live stream church. Yeah. Welcome to 2021. Yeah. Uh, we'll I be can't able to get... go to church in the metaverse. Yeah. Oh no, not yeah. meta. <laughs> Oh no! You'd be able to just put on your put on your headset and be so connected to everything. And you're, and I'm you're too much of a fishbowl on your head. Is no. the metaverse just a VR experience that someone gave a pretentious name? It's fa- well, it's so it's, it's going to be Facebook's uh, <laughs> VR version of social media Did after see- officially changing their company name to Meta. Did you see the Babylon Bees headline? I didn't. It I- had the Matrix pods. <laughs> says- oh, that's fun. Mark Zuckerberg releases his uh, metaverse pod that you can experience. Yeah, I, I just saw <laughs> just one of him in. doing his keynote uh, thing where he's, where oh, he's yeah. just saying, if he's you die in the metaverse, you die in real life. <laughs> what? Was, no, he never actually said that. Oh, okay. It was just a meme. That was, that was, that was one of my favorite From memes this week. Online yes. The Sasquatch that. gang? Sorry, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> trying to find it. Uh, the, uh, wait, yeah. I, it took me a minute, but don't you already hang out in the metaverse? Um, nah, Cause when not, he, not officially when he showed up and, and, never, branded. and there were aliens mm. and bears. I yeah. was like, wait a minute. I've heard of this. Yeah, no, it's been a thing. There have, there are many, many other apps by other people. Virtual for reality. This. Chat yeah. V- virtual reality, VR chat rooms. And, and, yeah. and it was a, f- it was a great time, um, for the uh, first three months of, uh, Experience. Oculus Quest 2 before all of the eight-year-olds got it for Christmas and flooded in and uh, then everybody felt awkward and just, went home. You just can't <laughs> filter them out of the conversation like no. an old chat room? No, that would be a great feature, though. Be like, You found it? I think there's probably... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I'm reading user reviews for the Sasquatch gang and yeah. I, these people. What are they saying? They care. <laughs> what are they, they saying? It's totally real, Ricky. You can't just <laughs> say, hey, this thing over in my hand is really funny and then not tell us about yeah, it. That's wanna, the worst I, thing I in the world. I don't want to interrupt, but I'm well, just It's too late. Laughing. You interrupt by laughing and saying, this thing yeah. in my hand is making me laugh you, more than anything else in the room. <laughs> let's, let's read some reviews of the Sasquatch uh, this, game. This one is uh, headlined Napoleon Dynamite 2. Nice. Uh, a copy that suffices. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, yeah, that's so it. Um, uh, although this one reads the worst one star, the worst Bigfoot movie of all time, and a total waste of time. What's the best one? That's my. Uh, yeah, I would like to know. Yeah. I would like to know. You can't just say this. But it's just worst. It, an excerpt says uh, the Sasquatch theme is nothing more than a lame excuse to string together jokes, and it's like. Any I don't movie. know what you were expecting. Have you when ever you came watched into like Letter Kenny or anything? Yeah, yeah. Or The Office. I think Same they just thing. wanted. I think The Office has more of a plot line. It, it developed Cheers. one. I think it Cheers developed on an really accident. really just set up payoff. Set yeah. up payoff. Situation comedy. Yeah. Right. Sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's a simple it's a simple uh, recipe. Sitcom Although the Seinfeld is a lame show did to string kind of, together jokes. Seinfeld. The Seinfeld show did kind of they gave the jokes more room to breathe. Or they, mm. they made the payoff later, so it was more like, here's the setup, here's other things that happen, payoff at the end. Yeah. And so you'd have to remember the setup from the beginning of the show. Right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah you'll it's see. It's an interweaving plot. Yeah. I, I mean, I grew kind of up staple. not liking it, and now <laughs> I'm, I have it on in the background while I'm working on my right. artwork, and I'm like, that's pretty funny. Well, I mean, you see that with like some stand-ups too, which I really like when when they do it. Amazingly you'll, enough, you'll have a stand-up who like tells a joke at the beginning of their set that like isn't supposed to be that funny because mm-hmm. it's it's going to be funny because they're going to bring that back at the end of their set, and it ends up being one of their closing jokes, and it's one of the best jokes. But mm. but 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 they start it by purposefully bombing a joke at the start of their set that yeah. nobody really laughs at, and they but they like punch it into the audience's brain so they'll remember it when they reference it later, and it's just a fun time. The payoff is all the bigger. Yeah. yeah. So like, but it makes it feel like the entire comedy show has been the workshop to get the joke. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's cool. That's oh, man, it yeah. wasn't funny. Got to practice being funny. Okay, I'm funny now. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll try it again. And that's also a Campbellian story, and so that's why it's also more satisfying yep. to a human brain who's... Uh, like this is record time. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Bingo. 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 <laughs> Their joke goes through a road of... It crosses a threshold. It goes through a road of trials. It meets a goddess, and it yeah. uh, pays a heavy price, being the no laughs at the beginning, and then Saves it, 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 it becomes the master the of both worlds. This is price right here. You can be funny or not, and... Uh, <laughs> Here uh, you go. That was a journey. That was a journey of explaining the joke. Yeah. <laughs> so we should right. even say it was the hero's journey. That's oh. it. That's it. Now you could. Uh, we are in season four, episode one. Yes. So there is enough. There's enough out there that yeah. people could compile a bingo card. It's true. So my question to you guys is, what do you think would be on said bingo card? <laughs> How well do you know your own show? Yeah, what it's if a bad we... show. Uh, oh. that's, that's on there. Free space. Um, <laughs> all right, very good. Yeah, free space, as Taylor says, it's a bad show. Uh, so Kim, Kimbellian Journey. Yeah. Well, that'd be a whole different... Or, okay, or yeah. Harmon's Circle. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, the, it'd be like it's that. Kim, it'd just be story structure reference, yeah. I yeah, guess. Story, story, story structure reference. reference. Taylor uh, Taylor mentions drugs in high detail. That that's waned that's... and waxed over the years. <laughs> <laughs> over the that, years. that I think used to be on the bingo card. Yeah. I don't know if it is anymore. Um, it's still the, uh, it was still seasons one and two at least. So much on the show. <laughs> 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 at, least, at least more recent. <laughs> More recent episodes of the show. More recent episodes. Yeah. yeah, no, I think season three was very, very light on dr- on uh, yeah. uh, substance references. Although uh, Dragon's Milk, that there was a whole conversation about augmenting mm-hmm. consciousness uh, and socially and on, uh, and that was an episode of season three. So yeah, no, that's that's a uh, yeah what would dystopian be technology of... headline. Yeah, I want to see that on there. Social games is another one of Taylor's. Why are all of these about me? I'm not the that's only person the on the show. Question I'm question not was. the entire I mean... show. McKinley tells McKinley says this is. Taylor's show. That's 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 on. Yeah, there. that should be on there. Oh, I'm just. Kelly doesn't want to interrupt. 
<laughs> but but does <laughs> mckinley has asked a question and then goes on a tangent about something else okay yeah. now we can switch up yeah to, it briefly to... becomes my show and then yeah. it goes back to whatever else yeah <laughs> fact check fact checks uh, yeah, Brandis in the chat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want that on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's lists. Brandis needs to come back on the chat. I miss her. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe we miss you, Brandis. Uh, just stop. At a party tonight. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's doing. Tonight. This is a tough one. This is just like whenever we would have uh, Wednesday night youth club in okay. church, and then Halloween would fall on Wednesday, right. and we're like, we're having it anyway. We'll be here. And well, that yeah. just meant we would be there. <laughs> this we was was literal we. The, the, the well, rest yeah. of the leadership of those uh, infrastructures were generally saying we should cancel this week. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And then, but, uh, yeah. yeah, we would just be there like, good day, good day. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all for the bingo card, folks. That's it. <laughs> that's all the spaces. That's the amount of spaces on a bingo card. I've never seen a bingo card. I've what never played the, bingo. What's the most Not dangerous drinking game to play with this podcast? Um, uh, counting yeah. ums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> counting stu- counting stutters, ums. Yeah. Uh, Taylor can't think of a word. That that used to be a thing though. Is you would you would have a tally of um. Well, there was going to be yeah. yeah yeah yeah. But that, we had it for like three. It kept weeks. not getting done. We had it for like. Taylor three says weeks. something's going to be Numbers a part of the show. Numbers don't go that high. You, uh, <laughs> Taylor Taylor says something's going to be part of the show and it is it never was, seen yeah, again. Yeah, it was never incorporated another, into the show. I kept right. a tally for the record for anyone at home yeah. who wants a picture of it. Quite I can diligently. Send it to you. What's the yes. highest that ever for like got five to? episodes? I don't think I ever actually counted. I just kept a tally. Right. Yeah, I saw enough. It, it would. Did you ever run out of past twenty? No, I would do it on the back of our clapboard. It made it past twenty multiple times. I remember seeing the back of. The clapper, there were always like more than four groups of, yeah but since that habit has kind of backed off i thought it? It, i don't know <laughs> the habit of writing down a tally oh yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i thought i, I thought i would ask what the saying, um i have no idea i haven't been paying attention to that but right. i i which is definitely part of why i'm curious about uh about that uh, about it, how curious about uh yeah yeah just like what was the what was the impetus at the very beginning do you think it would uh it would really kind of well the impetus you trying to like perfect your uh, showmanship habits well the impetus was let's see if we can harness a piece of midwestern culture to shape behavior it's a very it's a very uh, shame-based society around and and so if you take let's have just a mechanism where at the end of the show we say this is how many times you said um you're probably going to be embarrassed by that maybe you'll end up saying it less so that you have less of a <laughs> negative jolt to your system at the end of your episodes um, great performance is motivated by shame but yeah the great thing except could for be, the shit you true. enjoy <laughs> well, i don't know viewers at home could bid yeah. on over underages <laughs> that's also true and then <laughs> at the fun. final reveal they'd be like oh yeah. man have to hand over cash yeah. more games more segments that's my uh that's my soapbox <laughs> Well, uh, so now some we're back to calling them thing. segments instead of corners. Story structure. Like, it was corners <laughs> for, like, two weeks. I don't know. It was corners all the way <laughs> yeah, down. Where man. did the corner thing come yeah. from besides Harmontown? Was it a there is no besides there is Harmontown. No. <laughs> Watch where our whole show. From? Watch yeah. hundreds of hours of our content. There is no besides Harmontown. <laughs> well, that that's what I always thought was don't tell people to watch Harmontown. Because Why? if they do, then they're like, oh, this is just a pale shadow of Harmontown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, Sas- it's like Sasquatch Club. It's, it's fine. I'm yeah. sorry. It's a- I didn't mean, <laughs> nah, I didn't mean it as fine. harshly as it ended up coming You're not out. that pale. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like to think I'm not that drunk either. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of texts from my family to say mm-hmm. hi to them on camera. So hi, family, who's all watching, apparently, like- with extended family, aunts and uncles, cousins and friends. Hello. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, wow. we're up to 500,000. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you're all watching on one phone I, too. Uh, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just, I, I would ask you. Uh, I would ask you, Taylor. Is there anything you want to say to your girlfriend's family? But I think really the, the more got to be really question. humid First, around that phone that you're know? huddled up. <laughs> yeah. The, the much more no pertinent what? question, I think, about is, all the substance references on past episodes. Is, I don't know. Is there anything you boyfriend. don't want to say oh, yeah, to probably. your girlfriend's family? <laughs> I think so. What? I think so. Yeah. No, I don't think so. That's like how my mom first discovered I had a girlfriend. So I came to Kansas to go to college cool. and would call her weekly mm-hmm. from the dorm and then uh, met my girlfriend 
and stopped calling my mom and stopped being at the dorm. Oh, and no. she would call the dorm and they'd say, no, he's not here. No, he's not here. No, he's not here. Finally, my RA answers the phone. No. And he's, she says, well, do you think you know where he is? He says, yeah, he's probably with his girlfriend. And she says, I don't think he has a girlfriend. He says, you're probably right. <laughs> Click. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good RA. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably you're right. You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> but then the next time he saw me, he's like, dude, uh, you this, gotta tell this your happened. <laughs> this happened. This is the best I could do in the situation. Oh, that's funny. I said, no problem, John. Thanks a lot. That's pretty great. <laughs> that's pretty great. Shout out to John. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. good friend of the show. It's, yeah. Just anyone that's named on the bingo John. card. Shout out You're to good friends of the show. A good friend of the show. Yeah. That's it. Shouting out friends of the show who have no idea what this show is and do not care. Well, we did that earlier with the that's 13th on the bingo tale. card. Yeah, that's <laughs> and homeschoolers. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's definitely on the card. Shout outs to people that don't know who we are. Yeah. Anyways. We got the lampshade in the picture. That's another, I think, it hallmark is. of our show. Oh, no, it's not attached. No, it, but it is very, yeah, it's slotted into a thing that holds it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lamp behind there, no. just in case you were curious. <laughs> it's just a microphone stand. <sighs> but, Which is um, even better, almost. So do you have any topics? No. I mean, we've yes. been... <laughs> pretty much i mean i do none of them are uh, again i don't i make topics and then i look at them and i'm no, like see, so no you have to say the topic this. out loud and then mckinley and i are just gonna riff on it and then you there tell us go. if we were close to what you originally thought okay, well, that's like interesting this. you're not gonna okay. talk about here's one we'll try and feel right, this ready, out ready? okay are you ready for the first one ready 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 argy bargy barg barg <laughs> The right, best right. part about this is That's that McKinley's got the inside track. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm the mole. I know. Ar- argy, bargy, the bark, bark. You might have to be on your own for this one because I kind of get it. Well, no, I you, immediately think the of dialect. Muppets. Okay. I immediately think of Muppets when I hear that. <laughs> That's a Muppet-style noise. Yeah, That's like yeah. a, a, a film phenomena. prototype to yeah, phenomena. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I got a skit, guys. What's it called? <laughs> bargy, 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 bargy. <laughs> Nah. Snap it up. And they're like, <laughs> anomena. Ooh, gold. <laughs> no, they were. <laughs> yeah. was, nah, anyway. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Ah. Uh, so I've done a little. Now you. It's in your court. <laughs> <laughs> argue, argue, bark, bark. Yeah, that little phrase is uh, is uh, something I suggested uh, Taylor get a tattoo of. <laughs> Just to, <laughs> Really? Yes. It's oh, true. Oh, that is great. Just to keep that's... him centered. <laughs> life it's kind of a mantra you Keep know it's kind mobile. of a spiritual thing to it's the hardest part is you will never know if it was misspelled or not <laughs> <laughs> i've got it spelled right here it's, like it's, no, it's right down no there regrets. any h's anything in there oh, every time no okay regrets. okay it's kind of guttural do you want to spell it real quick mckinley no no to, i don't want to do canonize it. it i can't be responsible for that <laughs> it if anybody can correctly spell argy bargy barg barg in the chat uh you win. Hooray! Hey, hey, yeah, we should come up with yeah, good enough is, points. We'll send you a fabulous yeah. prize. No, no. No. <laughs> just we points. will award pretty just good points, enough no points. prizes. These yeah, points, no, we can work that they're not really the... good enough. Yeah, they're not good, at, they're not good for anything, but they are pretty good enough. <laughs> no, I think, that, I think that it'd be a good way to integrate into that when we finally have the merch store that sends, <gasps> that, that hits your Venmo whenever you order something. You don't pay for anything. Yeah. When, when, when we finally have a budget behind the show, I just want a merch store that gives you money for ordering things instead of you having to buy merchandise. It'd just be great. It'd just be absurd and hilarious, and I just love the idea it of it. It fits the show. I don't understand. It's, it's just good. This is my bank account. Empty it, please. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, yes. no, because if I knew that I could do that and not go broke, I would absolutely want to do that. That'd be really fun. The only way you great. wouldn't go broke by giving people your bank account number and how to empty it is having no fans or followers <laughs> <laughs> well that's is, true too i guess i could start a... the merch store today <laughs> we have an out but uh we have an out but, but no what i mean yeah, yeah. It, it would be really cool because it would it'd be like discovering renewable energy it's like if the podcast got so successful that our merch store could pay you and the podcast would continue to exist it would just be a really fun be sign funny. of success it's like yeah. it's kind of like what 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 people should do when they have so much money they don't know what to do with it well you um, need to come up with a uh, like a pretty good enough token. Yeah. Pretty good enough cryptocurrency. Coin. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it will be great. That's what to you the moon. give people. Yeah. Pretty good enough coin. Yeah. Yeah. Make a little NFT that goes yeah. along. 
with it'd it? be f- <laughs> 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 NFT. Uh, NTF. Yeah. No, it's an NFT. NFT. You you had it right. I was <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> laughing at the NFTs, not at you. Yeah, I asked my. Yeah, what does our resident artist have to say about NFTs? I can't get anybody to talk to me about it. Uh, <laughs> I ask all of my instructors, and they're like, "It's a fad. It's a fad." I'm like, "But what?" Is it, what, it's do, it's do people it. that think Why that they can own a JPEG. There's a big right, thing right. where people are angry because people are screenshotting their NFTs, and it's hilarious because they're like, "No, I paid fifteen million dollars for that." Happen. I know, yeah, but this the, was yeah. happening before you bought it. Yeah, no, Genius. it's a fad. It's a it's a con. <laughs> it's people tricking dumb billionaires into believing they can own things on the internet mm-hmm. that only exist on the internet. NFTs, and cryptocurrencies, and, and getting them to give them a lot of their money while they do it. Yeah, I don't know. i the one thing that I did here. Uh, there's a podcast I listen to called The Draftsman, which is a really good yeah. uh, podcast. And they talked about it. And one of the people on it is really old. So okay. he didn't understand it at all. The other guy is probably just a little older than you. And he was talking about the thing is you can Google and have access to Babe Ruth's rookie card stats today. Yeah. But that is not Babe Ruth's card Mm -hmm. which is worth something to a collector right so even if you could take a screenshot and everything the fact that you don't have the blockchain (sighs) showing its authentication Mm. there are weird weirdos out there yeah that somehow get satisfaction from owning the original jpeg yeah exactly but but i don't i don't really understand yeah and there's a whole lot of things with see i'm not see this is Free. Yeah, no, that's I'm art. Not, I'm not that's trying cool. to sell anything. That's good. Right. I'm Gorilla Underground. Get the word out. Yeah, that's merch that pays you. That's that's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> mm-hmm. This oh pays the, 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 the consumer. consumer. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. free because art. You baby. get it for free, and you right. get something out of it. Hopefully, right. And there were production costs, and right, right. you're not even having to match those. They're, right. They're, they're, it's right. it's great. It's good. It's it's, it's but it's, it's also pure. physical, and so it's also geographically yeah. locked. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. distribute it. And they're limited. There's only so many of them. And uh, it's great. Um, It's fun. It's a collector's item. But it's also, it's a file on my computer. I could print out more at any given time. Right. But, yeah. Yeah. It's better than an NFT. Well, it's a lot more fun. Like yeah. it's like reverse <laughs> geocaching. It's almost like I'm ah. the Easter Bunny, just kind of putting these right. zines throughout the city. You should have been the Easter Bunny for Halloween. It would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be the Easter Bunny for Maybe some Halloween. It's gonna be seen good. Him? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fun fact: He's like for a little while I was, you know. Yeah, but. this is your dad. This is the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to be the one I gotta break it to you like this. Hey, Hey, please welcome to the stage. I'm gonna swap out. Nate's gonna jump in. Our brand new guest. Another shaggy. Our co host of many. That's good. Thank you very much. Good night. Oh, he's leaving? Here we gotta gotta think. That's fine. All right. There's plenty of chairs over there if you wanted. uh, uh, There's some chairs in the other room too. You could pull in. You could pull a stool over here and we could share a mic if you wanted. It's also true. Uh, Co producer McKinley. Love. What's up, Nate? Love. That's what you Love. need is a back lot uh-huh. to get to the booth. Yeah, that'd be nice. I saw a green falling star on my way over here. Whoa, Ooh, yeah. pretty. There's like a big solar flare happening tonight. You should be able to see like auroras in the sky. That's really cool. So mm. what are we doing? I, I chalked it up to that. Yeah. Nice. Either that or any, uh, any, any, any. Or it's an alien. Uh, six to, 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 to. It's a UFO. Nine-year-old yeah. kids. Be on the lookout for Stitch at your local dog shelter. That yeah, was green. Can I borrow two dollars? Yeah. <laughs> Should be a good time. Do you want the headphones? No. Yeah, those headphones do okay. work. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't really want you to. How's, use how's your ear? How's your ear? Is your oh, ear it's much better? better. That's good. That's good. Hadn't thought of that. But I liked not having headphones last time so much that I'm not going to put them on again now. That's fair. As long as you keep your mic spacing, I won't. I won't. I won't tell you to. It'll be good, and and you sound great. So you're doing great. Um, I've used a microphone before. That's true. What? Right. It's true. So now I have a new improv uh, friend. Yeah. Do you want to give us the next? Okay, we have a new topic. Did we want to talk about what argy bargy barg barg meant at all? <laughs> you said that it was just going to be a tattoo. Uh, well, you, the, he said that it was just. Oh, gonna be a tattoo. Right. Well, yeah, no, it's fine. We can story. circle back around to it. No, what? it was just. He's, no. He's, 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 okay. <laughs> What did I say? No, no, no uh, McKinley. McKinley, McKinley had told up. me to get Argy Bargy Barg 
Barg as a tattoo after I had gone on a tangent about uh, how how uh, most of uh, language hinders communication more than it helps, and 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 most of what's going on if you're having a conversation is is, is eye contact, micro gestures, uh, body language, and and not micro gestures, micro expressions. As long as you have your eye contact, your micro expressions, and your body language uh, uh, correct for all intents and purposes, you could be saying argy bargy barg barg, and you can have just as good of a conversation. Which I think with an animal, that's correct. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, like a human, you know, no, like I, a homo sapien. No, I think that language helps immensely. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, but so, you can't you can't lie if you're saying argy bargy barg barg at each other and then you know? going off of eye contact, body language, and micro expressions. I imagine it would be harder. It's I harder, imagine but it would you can be still harder. manipulate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just think it'd be harder, and as soon as you so have language, a bit more you, it's a whole lot easier to 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 to. to it's a whole lot easier. Pull to a lot of nonsense. Well. Um, maybe. I mean, in maybe. the beginning was the word. Yeah. Allegedly, and the word was not argy, tell bargy, us. barg, barg. Yeah, but that's all said by people <laughs> that use language, so I don't know. It's all to the profit of big language. Big language. Yeah. Okay, um, that's my language. Yeah. Big, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, housekeeping. McKinley, have you thought of an album yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. What's did the we album? already? Did they already talk about it? Oh, Just to shout listen it. To yeah, and back on this for, uh, break, break sure. Okay. Um, the the answer is yes. He has thought of a new album. Yes. Stay we'll tuned. Bring it back toward the end. All right. So the well, next. For, for argument's sake, what if you have two or more people in the room that that don't share a language? Like that's not a hard situation to imagine. I've been there. When I went over to Kazakhstan, funniest thing. So we had an, we had a translator, and then you had some that spoke Kazakh, some who spoke Russian, and some who spoke English. And while we were there, while the translator was there translating, we all got to the feeling that we didn't need the translator. Hmm. So the kids told the translator, we don't need you, get out. And then we didn't know what each other was saying anymore, so we called the translator back in. So we had an idea. That's that's like when you're watching anime and you're you're reading the subtitles and you think, I don't need these anymore. I understand I what they're saying. So you turn them <laughs> off and then and then you don't you're you're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Or like when you when you successfully guess what the apes are signing to them mm. to each other at the beginning of was it the second planet Second of Planet the of, the of the Apes movie. It's like, man, I had it. You, you and it's like, hey, we won't need these. And you turn them off. It's like, I, I don't know what they're saying anymore. So you turn them no. back on. But then they have to subtitles be fair, that's for CGI the people and too. fake it's sign like, language. And yeah. No, but I've been in these real. Right. This isn't yeah. just a hypothetical. Absolutely, yeah. I've well, been the Planet of the Apes one was. Right. The, no, I was. No, because it's, it's CGI. There. They aren't real oh. people. They're not. Yeah. But then in the room with yeah. the three absolutely different that, languages, yeah. and we all thought we understood mm-hmm. each other, and the translator was superfluous. So we're like, go. Go do something. Go get yourself something to drink. Yep. And then we're like, yeah, so we really have no idea what we're talking about anymore. Yep. And still using gestures and expressions. Now, we didn't all of a sudden think that we were enemies. Right. That yeah. didn't happen. But we were actually communicating when we had the translator there. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think it matters. I think language doesn't obscure. Well, obviously, it's a useful tool. Otherwise, we would have thrown it out ages ago. Um, it's just to what end? What are we using it for? How many things it's is it a used percentage for? Of and, and how many of those things are good? Yeah, it's a large percentage, it but is. not it's all a of it. Very large percentage. Well, yeah, depending a, on how specific. You I would say it's a majority percentage. Yeah. It's revelatory because it's, it's, it's the only way. Plus ninety-five to accuracy. It's because there's a lot of things that we think of that can't be articulated. Ex- yeah. It can't be expressed through other than like we're hammering out words. We're using metaphor and analogy. Mm -hmm. And then the people are like, so you mean like this? So the feedback you get and you're like, no, I didn't mean exactly that. So then you you work on the metaphor or the analogy or whatever words you're using because you're ideally you're trying to be understood. Right. Now, unideally, you're trying to um, manipulate somebody else. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, because that's the big question. It's like, was abstraction the biggest, the most useful adaptation ever, or is it more akin to original sin? It's it's, it's that you can make camps and argue about it, whatever, and 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 people roll their eyes and everything like that. But it it is an interesting. It's an interesting. uh, I think. What do you? To me, it's. I don't know if I mean it's akin to original sin. I think Mm -hmm. it was vastly affected by original sin. Maybe, yeah, or or something like it, where where it's trying to manipulate and. Uh, hide from one another Maybe. until we had something to hide 
from one another. Yeah. Yeah, but, the, but 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 even before then, there were there was another species that was in 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 this telling of the tale. There was another species that was manipulating and and, and hiding from 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 hiding from uh, uh, the, the the person in charge in the story and manipulating the 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 the, the uh, beings that that did fall. It's the it, it's your it's your pre original sin because because you'd be like the, the the sin before the sin was well, was the deception of the, the people, first two humans, right? The, yeah, right. An original sin being that nature that remains it's mm-hmm. not only the first it doesn't mean the first sin yeah. because obviously there was a sin before that right it's the it's the you the should feel uh, that, guilty for what you didn't do it's it's a very complicated concept and it is a very it's a very it's a very you're held responsible for it right well, what's the difference if you're held respo- if you if, if you are told by by a higher authority that you are responsible for this thing you shouldn't you still shouldn't feel guilty for it well, it's just like I can't feel uh, meritorious for the merit that I am granted on behalf of another. Who yeah, that's it. still, yeah. So I don't feel meritorious. Yeah. So I don't Which feel is, guilty, but I am, and I don't feel meritorious or righteous, I'm but, I'm, but I am. That sounds really, yeah, it's very com- complex stuff, folks. It's, it's strange. I don't, I don't know what to do with it sometimes. It's interesting. Just, yeah. Um, so that's argy, argy, bark, bark. That's argy, 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 <laughs> bargy, bark, bark. Argy, um, bargy, bark, bark. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the next topic with my next. Uh, so what we do, Nate, is <laughs> you and I are going to uh, improv based on Taylor's topic. And then he tells us what the real meaning of the topic was. Uh, apparently, that's what oh, okay. this has turned into. I don't know. I think it was fun. Wasn't my idea, Nate. Uh, it's been fun. Um Let's see. I've got another one. I cleaned my apartment and found a Cheerio on the floor. Go nuts. What? What? Hey, I, this wasn't my idea. I, I don't even know what to do with this other than Seinfeld. And I don't want to do that yet. Do it. Why? I don't let's, let's want to do it yet. Seinfeld. It's just I can, I, can, I, can, I can bring that out at a better time. <laughs> fair enough. It shouldn't be my first tool. That's that's fair. <laughs> So I cleaned my apartment and found a Cheerio on the floor. Uh, this sounds like the old this is poetry a- I used to do in ninth grade. I mean, I, I, I didn't say I don't want to do any of these topics because I thought they were too good, guys. <laughs> I, well, I'm just, I know, <laughs> I agree I know with you. <laughs> existentially, I know as I watch, I'll hear this list go through yeah. and then it just says, no. They get vetoed before they even get a chance to fail. Right, right. So I thought, well, while I'm here. <laughs> do we want to veto this one and I can I can go to another one? No, I want to do try. We, on? Okay. Well, we, we also like, could talk about Dune. Like, well, if we all watched it. That's true. H- have you watched it? I watched enough of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've all watched it. I've seen oh. the I've seen the earlier one. He watched the first chick- six I, chapters of it. I like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the the new look. And it seems to like, especially the um, shields around the body are much better in the new one than the David Lynch dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the shields in this one look better. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. loved the David Lynch shields. Uh, <laughs> so so good, and the use of the voice was pretty cool. Uh, and I can't wait to see more of it i just started watching it on hbo oh okay max at home and i was laying down and then i fell asleep so well yeah. but i want to go see it in imax with like loud music mm-hmm. and experience it like we did with uh yeah uh, blade runner 2049 i think it it looks like it would it benefit would be from awesome that i don't know if it would benefit as much as blade runner because this is more of a dialogue heavy movie than blade runner well but the the cinematography it looks like it would be better to see on a huge screen oh yeah by by all means that's see it in all the theater. i mean i'm like i yeah. just want to be like wow yeah i and saw it in a theater and it and was just lovely like, oh that's pretty cool yeah yeah i saw it in a theater too it was really fun it was the first movie i ever saw in the theater that has the chairs that move oh really and like they, they rumble? vibrate the rum the rumble chairs the the hd rumble chairs Ooh. The, yeah, it's like playing a video. It's like, it, I felt like I was playing a video game for the first time on like the Xbox 360. That now that now the con- controller <clears throat> vibrates when things happen. For the Dune movie, a little or bit. For yeah, for the Dune okay, movie. Okay, okay, okay. 
I was like, I don't remember that yeah. in Blade Runner. Although, like, when those cars would fly by, my yeah. cool chest Blade vibrated. Runner. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that, that was, was probably just, just the sound. The sound. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was just the, the Dolby sound. Atmos. <laughs> yeah. That was the first movie I saw with the Dolby Atmos uh, sound stuff in the theaters, and I was, I was happy with that. But no, the... the, the um, yeah, no, it was interesting. I had heard a couple people talk about that in AMC? Cinemark. Oh, Cinemark? Yeah. yeah. That's the cheapest ticket, too, right? It is the cheapest yes. ticket, and you can see movies the day before they come out, but don't tell yep. anybody, or the theaters will get <laughs> too that full and we'll start charging more. No, um, that's Cinetopia. <laughs> don't, don't go. Don't go to Cinetopia. Don't go. Oh, yeah. someone on I-30, PSA one, to everybody. What? Street, Do not go to Cinetopia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 135th and, and all. Everything. Yeah, yeah. What with the giant you, couches and the lounge chairs. What do you the, not like about Cinetopia? Uh, it's just the worst. It's the worst. With the rabbits and everything? I don't know. When I went, the I think, sound... I think it's subjective. ...left a lot to be desired. I also was watching one of the worst movies ever. <laughs> I've had oh, really wait, good wait. experiences Let me see if there. I can guess what movie this must have been. Okay. Nope, I can't do it. It was uh, Alice... <laughs> Give me a hint. Alice... Alice in Wonderland, too. The second one. Yeah, Through the Looking Glass. <laughs> Alice Through the Looking Glass. And, and I was, let me tell you, I was falling asleep on that couch. It was a, it was a, oh, it's not a good movie. The, the, not a good franchise. Tim, Tim Burton. Just stop. Trey Harder. No, don't just stop. Keep making movies. You just like, stop trying to make Alice in Wonderland Take filmmaking movies. seriously. Take filmmaking classes. That, too. Maybe. A few. He probably has. He probably has. I'd be willing to bet that yeah, he, but he was even an if educated you've done filmmaker. Forever, you can gain by going. Also true. Yeah. Do or maybe again. teach a couple film classes. Yeah. Yeah. Do a master class. Yeah. <laughs> well, people I would sign up for it. Well, uh, people would. People would. More people would sign up for that than would go to your next movie. I would bet. Mm. You might be surprised. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't think on that. Depends on if there's homework. There's more movie goers <laughs> than than master class takers. That's yeah. fair. It's, it's fair. easier to watch a movie. Larger price point. Easier to watch a movie. Cheaper to watch a movie. Probably. Well, plus you pay for the class. movie and then you sleep through it. It doesn't matter. He doesn't care if you slept through it or watched it. Yeah. You bought the ticket. I still probably wouldn't watch it. The master class? Yeah. Just because it's Tim Burton? I mean, or ju- I was talking about all master of them. Class? Well, you one of to... these topics was R.E. dash Tim Burton is a bad person. Did you remember why Tim Burton is a bad person? Uh, no, not off the top of my head. Okay. I, don't, I try not to give him very much brain space. That's fair. Why? Just because I have better things person. to think about. That's fair. <laughs> because he's a bad person. <laughs> but why is Tim Burton a bad person? Well, I don't know. I was yeah, researching it. I was I was doing oh. my best to research it, and I it, it took a while to something? it took a while to find. Um, it, the best I could find was there was one article that I found uh, about um, he had made a comment on a tweet regarding um, uh, 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 someone was saying, "Oh, Tim Burton movies don't seem to have very diverse casts," and then Tim Burton made a comment on that tweet about, "Ah, well, I don't know. Oh, I don't think that that, uh, I remember now. That, that 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 matters all that much." I remember watching X show back in the '90s and being like, "This is a little insulting when they uh, diversified their cast and it seemed forced and uh, etc." And so then the person in the article is like, "Now there's no evidence that he's racist, but and so allegedly Tim Burton is a bad person because he's racist, even though that is the only time that he's ever been seen." being close to racist and, and, and there are no other tweets to substantiate anything else. His cast else. is predominantly white. And his white. cast is predominantly white, so he's a bad person. Case closed. Tim Burton. Bad well, person. Well, they used to say, write what you know. That's true. And so then they try to write Maybe she outside of that then. wheelhouse and yeah. then you'd be, then they'd say that you were racist because you're using stereotypes because you didn't really Right, because it's not lived. It's that not your experience. Yeah, it's, it's not, not lived, lived experience. It's not authentic. And so you try, okay, I'm just going to write what I know. Yeah. So you write about a guy who has scissors instead of hands. <laughs> <laughs> and is uh, shunned by society. Yeah. And I personally don't think that, yeah, I, I kind of agree with Andy here. I don't, I don't really think there's enough evidence that. Yeah. But you're not, you're not impressed with Tim Burton to begin with. But you're not. I, I just don't like him as an artist. Yeah. You're just not, you're not impressed with his work. Right. It annoys me. What's your least favorite? It gets under Burton my skin. Film. Wow, really? Yeah. What's your least favorite Burton piece? My least favorite Tim Burton movie. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Frank and Weenie. What's the best <laughs> example of this guy is an ass? Work. This guy is full of himself and he's not even good. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
Oh yeah. Oh no. He that, did that Charlie and one? the Chocolate Factory sucks. Yeah, you um, shouldn't have had Michael Jackson be Willy Wonka. Here's the thing. Like <laughs> my, my go to Tim like that been t- good. I hate Tim Burton movie was always Beetlejuice. Okay. But like it was on TV today and I was kind of half watching it at work and it was growing on me, so like I don't know. Um Fair enough. Because this is Halloween. Like, Tim that, Burton, uh <laughs> I guess I guess Nightmare Before Christmas. The Batman, the Batman with with no! Penguin and Catwoman. No, okay. I can't stand it. <laughs> I think it's one of the best Batman movies. It, I love if, it. In, with the t- it has too much Tim Burton essence in it. Too much Tim Burton essence, and that's, that's what annoys me about it. It, it is very Burton. It's very and Burton. I gotta say, I must have been a Tim Burton fan and yeah. didn't even know it. I'm not even that much of a really Tim Burton fan. It really reminds me of Neil Gaiman and. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, the, Robert Smith of The Cure. I think his name's Robert Smith. I don't know. I don't know. Like, Whoever the lead singer of The Cure. The only good Tim Burton films, in my opinion, are ones that Fact he check. adapts from books. Okay. And even those are hit or miss. Did you watch Big Eyes? I think Big, Big Eyes. Eyes was an adaptation. I don't know what that is. I, That's where she paints Big Eyes, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, I, it's been ages since I've seen it, but I remember James and the Giant Peach being pretty oh, good. I hated that. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how I felt when you said that you hated Batman. It's yeah, that's, fine. <laughs> this, this is all subjective. It, it, absolutely, um, it is. Film and is Big Fish. What? But Big I've, Fish is I've good. said this before. I never I saw Big, seen Big Fish. Fish. It's good. It's, it's good. Watching. It stars Ewan McGregor. Mc, oh, that's right. I remember. And it's by Tim Burton. That. He directs it. Yeah, but it's he based directs off it. Of it doesn't. It doesn't feel like a Tim Burton film. That's why I remember. Oh wait, wait. Did Danny Elfman do the score? remember because that was was the other thing when i was growing up if tim burton directed danny elfman did the music it's kind of like if christopher nolan does the movie Hans Hans zimmer Zimmer does does the music music. and i was a big danny elfman fan and then danny elfman was part of the band oingo boingo that's uh, so he was a legit like hip-hop underground slash punk singer uh when before Tim Burton had him be Jack Skellington and hmm. sing for Nightmare Before Christmas. Interesting. He's I would have loved a stop motion uh, 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 Sandman. That would have been interesting. Oh, yeah. See, I think Tim Burton should get together <laughs> with Neil Gaiman. It would be interesting to see what they did. And do, do Sandman. Yeah. That, would, that would be awesome. We got to see a we got to see a Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. What if we had a Maybe Neil Gaiman would level them out. It would probably be a disaster. I'm not Tim sure if they would Burton work well together. I don't know if they would Terry get along. Pratchett, Neil Gaiman's good omens. Uh, who knows? Stop motion. Who knows? I like what we got for good omens. I think okay. that I think that it's served its purpose very well. Go I'll watch good omens watch on Amazon it. Prime. David Tennant and uh, that other guy. What's that guy's name? The Master. Michael something. <laughs> not. Nah, I don't think he was. Was he? Oh, Sheen. he's not the what? Michael, Michael Sheen. Sheen. Yeah, and Michael Sheen. He's not he might the have other been. I don't know. Uh, Time Lord? He could have been. I have no, no, he wasn't in Doctor Who. No oh, okay. Yeah. But, anyways, but David Tennant is the David demon, David Tennant right? is the demon. It's good Crowley. stuff. It's a good, it's a good performance. It's a good show. It's fine. It's good, though. <laughs> it's good. It's fine. It's good, though. It's Anyways. That was, I cleaned my apartment. That was, I cleaned Cheerio. my apartment and found a Cheerio on the floor. Go nuts. Um, Surprising, and, and Reed, you have a cat. How is Tim Burton a bad person? Uh, right. Oh yeah, Reed. Oh, the, the cat doesn't eat human food. Uh, she doesn't. It's so crazy. Not a she once. And there's been food that's been accessible to her, and she just okay. doesn't. She I've, has I've only tried, tried once, and that was with eggnog. Yeah, yeah. She she was very curious about the eggnog, but she was very trying like to right. sniff her. She also doesn't like milk. Face. I've tried to give her milk, and she just kind of not a fan. I don't get it. I don't get it. I have a weird try cat. half and half. Yeah, we have I'll try half and half. It's creamier. That's true. Uh, it's like the Kraft macaroni and cheese of milk. Right. <laughs> I've got I've got Ben Ben Benjamin Franklin might have been a serial killer. Before we move on, I have another chat that's not in the chat. Uh, okay. It's been texted to me. Pee Wee's Big Adventure was by far the worst. Miss Bennett Green's Home for Peculiar Children's was one of the best. Whoa! I would submit Miss Peregrine's Home for. Uh, Something children peculiar, children. peculiar children for one of the worst Burton films I've seen. I fell asleep during seen. that movie both times I tried to watch it, so I cannot weigh in. I don't know. I liked it. Really? But yeah. I liked Pee Wee's Big Adventure, too. So. Interesting. And I didn't even like Pee Wee Herman. Haven't seen Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> Did not like Pee Wee Herman. Watched I Pee-wee's haven't Big actually Adventure. watched either of those movies. 
Hmm. I tried. I tried with one. I've been in the presence of the Miss <laughs> Peregrine's, Ms. Peregrine's home, for home for Peculiar. I think so. I think I was in the presence while that movie was being watched. I was in the same room, but I didn't pay attention. Yeah. I think we went to the theater and watched it. I think we might have. Yeah. I'd slot that in with uh, Jurassic World 2. Fair. Ooh, I didn't know you didn't like it that much. I I think I... Well, no, Jurassic World is the one that was way too crowded and then we were too far to the front. Well, yeah, that was the first one. one. The second one. I'm pretty sure I like the book. I don't think I've watched Jurassic World 2 because I was so... Wait, did Jurassic World 2 have the designer dinosaur, the white T-Rex slash giant thing? I that think was the, the first well, one. They both designer had... Dinosaur. Yeah, Jurassic Park... Jurassic World 2 just had more designer dinosaurs and a lot one. of humans. I did not watch that had the underground uh, yeah. bidding and yep. the... Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I refused dinosaur to watch Dinosaur Black it. Market. Yeah. I tried yeah. to watch that movie and ended up cleaning my house. And finding a Good for you. on the floor. No. You made the right choice. It was... Yeah. It was... That was how bored I got. It was sad. Anyways, but yeah, no, we've got Benjamin Franklin might have been a serial killer. Go nuts. Hmm. Why was he like floating kites and thunderstorms and telling children, here, hold this? <laughs> I can't wait until the end. I, I, <laughs> okay. All right, so Benjamin Franklin may have been a serial killer. No, I'd believe it. <laughs> right. The end. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's and a man so. who doesn't kiss and tell. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we've got the Seinfeld. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. No. This is this is Jerry no. Seinfeld on Benjamin Franklin. No. <laughs> Possibly being it. fine. Picking his moments. Okay, people. so he just says, uh, I'd believe it. Yeah, fair That's enough. It. I yeah, think it just... was a misunderstanding. He just had to use the restroom, so he asked the kid to hold yeah. the kite string. Yeah, the only thing behind that was I was reading some stuff and uh, online and found out that uh, so Benjamin Franklin's house after he died, they went in the basement and they found they found a bunch of churros on the floor. Uh, they, they're they, like they, he was a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They found they they found tens of tens and tens of uh, uh, desecrated corpses. Uh, ones and twos of desecrated many corpses would make you a serial killer. Right, yeah, but they found <laughs> tens, tens and, and tens, tens, like, beyond that's, 20. That's a scientist. And, uh, it's... Oh, yeah, it yeah, was a, he might well, have yeah, just exhumed him. Sure, and so we don't know. He we know that he artist. wasn't allowed. We know he wasn't... We know that we, we know that there was no way that he had gotten those bodies by legal means. And so we don't know whether he was digging up corpses and then trying to do anatomic experiments or if he was killing the people and then doing it anatomic experience experiments maybe he was but. doing anatomic experiments and they died <laughs> we didn't kill them so like the surgery was death. a success benjamin franklin was the inspiration in for frankenstein and saw no saw they would he would have had them doing the experiments on each other well, he could have been we we don't we didn't it's nobody like walked in on benjamin and franklin doing hurts anything and it's like he has appendicitis yeah. you have a scalpel <laughs> <laughs> If yeah. you successfully remove his There's appendix, a manual. Yeah. you may get out. He wanted to find out just how trainable uh, and people also, were. Also, the chamber is going to begin flooding in uh, two hours. Yeah. Go. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just ran across that and I was like, yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of dead bodies in his basement. Wow. It's like a friend of mine just got a house... And I went over and I was walking through it. And I was like, yeah, this place is haunted. <laughs> ah, interesting. What, what, what's on your checklist for whether a house is haunted or not? Oh, it's just, uh, it's not many windows. It, it just okay. was eerie. It, okay. I don't know if it's just haunted. has murder house vibes. It's just eerie. So okay. it's dark, uh, heavy curtains, drapery, uh, old fashioned furniture hasn't been updated. It's, it's just, it's very quiet. Yeah. Uh, so it's by a pond, so like, and you and you pick it up for pennies on the dollar. Right. And anytime you buy a house cheaper than houses around it, that's are the going plot of for, Luigi's Someone's mansion, been right? killed in that house. Yeah, isn't, something has happened, and this house is probably haunted. If I believe, it. isn't that the plot of Luigi's Mansion, Nate? I've never played Luigi's Mansion. Me either. But he buys a house we'll super cheap on the market. And I think that he <laughs> inherits it, and he doesn't know from who, and it's a mansion. I thought that was Darkest Dungeon. That that too. 
also the plot of Darkest Dungeon, which I've been playing a lot of lately. Darkest Dungeon 2 you've been playing? Both of them. I played oh, okay. Darkest Dungeon 2 and then I went back I've heard mixed Darkest Dungeon. things about Dungeon to Darkest Dungeon 2. I... Well, it's still in beta, right? Yeah. I love a lot. It's in early access. So oh, early access, which is new, different. New language, new language. It's changing all the time <laughs> did, in the game. Did I just... Did I just signal that I'm some kind of racist? No, no, not against beta? video games. Okay. No. Oh, oh, by using the word beta. <laughs> sexist, maybe. I okay. don't think that you can be called racist for using the word beta. Just sexist. You got a lot of in, in, internalized right, misandry. Well, I'm comfortable dead. with that. <laughs> um, but but uh, uh, I want to make that a thing. Internalized misandry as a, as a thing. for. I, I is that, a, is that, that out today. there? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Internalized man hate. Right, yeah, because there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, well misandry oh. or misanthropy, like that too. Hey, how about that too? Well, yeah, men. it's more ex- well internalized misanthropy. I feel like is way more widespread and also way more acceptable as long one as one of you, my coworkers it's, was it's, sexist against her own self. Today. Right. Well, that's internalized misogyny, right? Misogyny, yes. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Well, right. that's because she's a woman. Right. She's right. a woman so who lives in Oswaldo. Internalized, so. internalized misandry would be on the other side of the gender you, spectrum where yeah. you've got, yeah, yeah, where you got the, yeah. And misanthropy would just be, I hate people. Everybody, yeah. People yeah. suck. A lot cooler of a thing to say. People for some seem reason. to be fallen. Very yeah. accepted these days. Yeah. Right. You just can't, yeah, you just can't pick sides. Everyone sucks, but if he thinks the particular people <laughs> suck. Well, yeah, because I think that that's why, though, because it's the, it's, it's not, the, it's targeted. the crime isn't, yeah, no, I don't, I think the crime I don't think it's isn't very productive. Isn't hating though. the one side, it's the lack of hate of the other side. It's thinking, it's supremacy. It's not, we're not mad at you for right. hating women. We're mad at you for liking men better than women. For, it, it, for, for being like, are, these people are better. Are, that instead men of, aren't, don't, don't have right. that fault. Right, as long as you're like, yeah, as long as you're being like, oh, people suck, it's then like, it's yeah. like, yeah. And I think that that's Hierarchies. why we know. That's why that's that's how you can tell that that the sin is the love of the one group, not the hatred of the other. Because if you hate both groups, you're fine. Well, I think that's funny. That and you if you just love both groups, people are like, yeah. love is so strange." Yeah, no. Well, it's a sin to uh, 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 it's a sin to love evil. I understand that. Right. Yeah. And to, uh, and to hate the, good. Yeah, yeah. The wrong. The wrong. Th- or at the the wrong amount. Or the wrong. Yeah. Don't gatekeep. Don't gatekeep that love. That's what I asked some guy. I was like. Uh, what do I do? I lust, man. I don't even love. Get away from me. Uh, <laughs> it's a fun inversion, but uh, yeah. So that's all for Benjamin Franklin was a serial killer, huh? Might have been. Might. So have are they going to take him off our money or what? No, no. I don't. I don't know. No, they haven't yet. We've no, known this for a very, make, very long so time. It wasn't a recent development. Coin, they're thinking of putting Hannibal Lecter on it. <laughs> now that they've opened it up for serial yeah, killers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since since it's the, actually an end all, around. from from since here the on out, God, all been an money opening. should only have the faces of known serial killers: Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy on the one dollar yeah. bill, <laughs> Ted Bundy on the five dollar. They bill. have to be rich serial killers. You don't think Richard though. Ramirez on the twenty dollar bill? Who's the son of Sam? I don't remember. I'm not, that may have been Richard Ramirez. Okay, I don't. Oh, remember. let's get let's get a uh, uh, the the newly revealed Zodiac killer on the fifty then. Hey, Ted Taylor. Cruz? Was that? No, they, they found the actual <laughs> guy. They found the actual guy recently. I don't oh, remember who it was. We've got a couple. We've got people. What do we got? What do we got, got here? Chance. Oh, hey. David Berkowitz. I love your, I love your uh, uh, tag, your, your name. What is it? What Google is it? sucks. That's kind oh, of fun. Okay. What does Google sucks say? Yeah. Found it. Not you, Jedi Siri. dude, what is your source for that claim? Curious to check it out. Uh, oh. Franklin or oh, Frankenstein. Okay. Cite your sources, Jedi dude. Yeah, uh, that's a really rough thing because I was. Uh, uh, that's strange coming from you must Google. Be new sucks. To the show. It was links. I was. It was. It was. It was halfway okay, through a rabbit hole for something else. I had. Yeah, just Google Benjamin Franklin serial killer question mark or dead bodies in Benjamin Franklin's uh, basement because that's about as close to citing my actual sources as I'm going to be able to get. It, this was right, three days ago. Taylor says, people. Google it yourself. Yeah. To the guy who says, Google. Okay. Duck, duck, go. Uh, yeah. You'll uh, probably get uh, the real info that way anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I've got the suppress. wrong info. I was on Google. Yeah. Yeah. Um, free information. But yeah, I'll, 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 n- next time I write something down as a topic, I'll, I'll have to, to have yeah. citable sources. This oh, is changes for season is. four. Season four changes. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, just some crosstalk. Do we have anything on who we found out the Zodiac Killer actually was? Do we have Ted his name? <laughs> Didn't he admit they it? They found the real guy. They found the real guy. He was like, mea culpa. <laughs> but, uh... He won, though. Um, da 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 Did you want to talk about your healthy lifestyle changes? <laughs> That you said, I should talk about this on the stream. So many, uh, sarcastically, yeah. You're going to start drinking know. water again? Well, I... <laughs> Eventually. I've been drinking we're, water. We're working up to it. I, uh, uh, I, 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 steps. I've been, I, I've only drank soda like three times this week, so that's, that's fun. Good uh, job. I, I've had two salads and a oh lot of sushi. Oh, my God. Um, there you go. And, and, and an omelet that had mushrooms in it. Wow. But, but. Yep. I'm really <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> He ate a salad. He designed the salad. I did. I did. He I, sent I, me an I ingredients I riffed a salad list. and then it got made and I was like, well, I have to eat this now. And then you liked How it. How did you feel? It was good. It was... Uh, it was remember, this is for science. So. <laughs> yeah, it was spinach, chives, uh, mandarin oranges, and goat cheese with raspberry wow. vinaigrette dressing. Oh, uh, yeah. You had and me on the goat cheese. Yeah. Goat cheese makes everything better. Except Prove maybe the choice shakes. of the vinaigrette. Well vinaigrette to taste pick pick whatever vinaigrette you'd like and, you prefer uh, lime vinaigrette just vinaigrette i thought just the balsamic. raspberry would go Italian well with the. i thought the vinaigrette. raspberry would go well with the goat cheese and the mandarin oranges mm. that was my only uh, thing behind that but but yeah so uh, salads you salad sushis i ate some sushi yeah sushi's great sushi is great it's good time. sure is eel's pretty good I haven't had eel sushi yet. You know they've got sushi. Eels, oof, oof, it's you so don't good. like eels. it? No, I love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> making an entrance Unagi. where they can. Mm. Well, the they've got sushi at Johnson County Community College. Sushi yeah. to go or something? Huh? And it's, it's okay. Surprisingly good. You know, I didn't expect much from it. Yeah. Well, no, for community I, college sushi, it's fine. I expected food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it, it outperformed. <laughs> I did not get food. I poisoning. didn't get sick, and I actually kind of liked it a little yeah. bit. I did try a California roll, and that's the one kind of sushi so far that I have outright disliked. I don't know and, what that is. What's it's a, a kind of sushi. Um, it has cream cheese in it. It's Yeah, it's crab oh, avocado weird. and cucumber. Mm. Don't, don't do it. Not a fan I, of the cucumber. I, I like oh, the crunchy. cucumber. Yeah. yeah. I think it's pretty good. So it's almost like crab ragoon, but they make it with... Uh, avocado instead of just mm -hmm. Taylor cheese. there's a sh sushi place over where I live yeah I'll have to take you there I would love to go get sushi with you is it That'd sushi awesome. uni yeah it is yeah that's where we went today you, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> although we didn't go there we we, we yeah. got takeout well, so I, have, I still have I went she's there. been there well, I'm going to the right I've place. still not been there so I yeah it was recommended I, I, I by Lauren fun going there yeah yeah Lauren shout out to Lauren good friend of the show good friend of sushi she is a good friend of sushi. Good, good, good times. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah. See, I couldn't riff on that because you're like, le healthy lifestyle choices. So, well, yeah, it's uh, not on the list This is all you, uh, Nate. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm accidentally actually living up to, to promises my 17-year-old self made. Yeah. When uh, you reach a certain age, you would turn the switch off. And it was mid-20s. That was, was when it? I was, yeah, no, I remember I was talking to your brother. It was, it was a, a culmination of conversations that I had with my mother, uh, my father, and your brother. Uh, shout out to, 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 to Ben, great friend, great friend of the uh, members of the show. Who had we'll said to get him on he sometime. missed you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We need to get together. He'd be surprised if he saw you tomorrow. Yeah, I I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> but I uh, but I uh, the 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 um, be surprised, right? For context, yes, yes, yeah. for context, I, yes. Um, we would go around about health and stuff. I remember walking around JCC already even mentioned. I'm not sure if it was mentioned on the show or right before the show, but uh, we'd be pacing around JCC and and Ben would be holding a, a a jar of some green smoothie and talking about how he's going to live to 100 drinking this. And I was like, yeah, well. <laughs> Who Maybe. wants to do that? <laughs> and 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 yeah. I, I mean, he to would linger. live to a hundred drinking that, but he lives too dangerously to. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you should stop juggling chainsaws. Yeah, you, you say that, but about... like, no, yeah, it's not an exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was he was using chainsaws. I'm one of I his few today. friends That's... that he never landed in an emergency room in his earlier childhood. It's it's. it's I feel lucky, um, but but uh. Anyway, 
the conversation would always end, always end in, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I can lean on my metabolism until my late 20s. So in my, as long as in my mid-20s I clean up my diet, I'll be fine. And now I'm in my mid-20s and I'm Basically, cleaning yeah. up my diet because I'm starting to feel like I'm dying. And now I feel better because I cleaned up my diet already, Isn't which means I can go yeah. back to the way things were. Because now I know all I ever have to do is start eating right. And I'll feel better. Well, that, that was um, way back before when you had a well, gallbladder. It, the sec- the <laughs> right. secret here is um, if you keep eating right, I know you'll continue to feel better. Yeah, but that's my least favorite thing ever. Is is whenever I can see the path of behavior you that gotta, guarantees success, you gotta I just start find, resenting it. You gotta find a healthy thing that you like. Yeah, that you enjoy Sushi. making, enjoy eating. Sushi, and then you eat that. Minus the make. For me, it's Sushi. smoothies. Nice, and. You just kind of go with it. You do like the, do you do like the, like, like runners do where like everything's blended? Do you, do you stick to like fruits and vegetables for your smoothies or do you do like I the put protein frozen... from blended meat, not just from protein powder blended and things meat. like that? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, fair God, enough. No. That sounds gross. No, that's a thing. Why? I'm Are pretty you sure? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, this is, is the Halloween no. podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I put yes, the horror <laughs> spectacular yeah, the horror greens, spectacular. frozen fruit and Protein powder, vegetable gotcha. protein powder. Put a lot and of quinoa. Some yogurt. A lot of quinoa in those. Quinoa? No, no. I just put yogurt. Apparently, in. it's that's healthy. like an I don't oat know. of some kind. I think it's a grain. It's a, Is it's it a, a grain? grain yeah. 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 My sister cooks with it a lot, and when she cooks with it, it Delish tastes good. Quinoa sushi. When I have it, not so much. I yeah, do I don't. Wrong. I feel like I'm an yeah. enemy of the grains family. I, I I hate barley. I hate lentils. I hate quinoa. What about I, oatmeal? Uh, that's oh, one of the few oh, foods oh, 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 I have never and will never willingly eat. I, I can't. I can't with oatmeal. I've I've tried it. It's not. I I know what it tastes like. No, you didn't try it. It was forced. And down I'm an your enemy throat. of it. Like, yeah, yeah. I swallowed because my nose and mouth were closed. Have you tried it since you were a kid? I have. Okay. I have. Oh, I tried did? it one one other time in college because I had. Well, I've tried it multiple times because every time I tell people, not every time. Nate hasn't done this. You the majority of the time. Uh, the majority time. of the time when many, I tell somebody that I don't times. like oatmeal, immediately the go-to thing is, well, you probably didn't have good oatmeal. And I'm like, I assure you I had great oatmeal. And they're like, no, you didn't. I'm going to make you some oatmeal. And I've tried many people's versions yeah. of good oatmeal. I nice. hate all oatmeal. I, well, I never you, finish a bowl. The best like, oatmeal is definitely the, the dinosaur oatmeal with little eggs in it. I, I don't know. His mom made good based. oatmeal. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like what it. I figured. That's yeah. why I always... I never believed these people when they said you haven't had good oatmeal. That was another argument that I would have with my with my mother a long a, a lot of times growing up. It would be a very very much a thing if I would be saying, "Look, I'm not saying your food is bad. Right? <laughs> I believe in the quality foods? of yeah. your food. I do not like it though. And I, I, I and when it's oatmeal, I can't I can't eat it. It's 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 I can't can't with oatmeal. Anyways. Moving on. <laughs> so what brought us to oatmeal? I don't know. That was healthy living. Healthy, healthy. Yeah. healthy living. Healthy yeah. living. Yeah. Oats, grains. Quinoa. Quinoa. They suck. Taylor is an enemy Although I do like, I like quinoa chips. Those are good. That sounds like something I'm Yeah, they're, they're just like behind. nacho chips, but yeah. they're... If they're still healthy... I don't know. If I've you, had... Yeah, I don't uh, know if you, the brand Food Should Taste Good is one of my favorite brands, and they have sweet potato tortilla chips that are amazing they're not very healthy they are still tortilla chips but they have sweet potato in them and they taste so good same with the hmm. quinoa chips i yeah. mean because they are tortilla chips yes. you're not right you're like well it's healthy. still fried right it's right. still a uh, chip well, right. then why would you choose to have a chip with quinoa in it if you're not actually getting health benefits that you that's, are still getting health like benefits. glamping but for well health, you're still getting the health benefits from the diet. quinoa you're it's just it's gliating it's glamour fried. dieting well, You're not, not actually only, dieting. Not only that, but like uh, it's it's especially crisp, but still thin, but strong enough so that you can scoop. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different reasons to choose any of those different nacho chips to begin with. Yeah. And and these it's the flux chips on your friends of... for not eating potato chips, basically. Yeah. Oh, it's a flex. Yeah. Probably. I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't perceive it as one for you. Um, <laughs> There also does tend to be the a wrong lot accent less. for that. So th- while they're not a healthy food, they are a healthier option, right? So there's less fat content. You're just they're... dying less. Yeah, yeah. you're, you're it's dying. It's like driving a hybrid versus driving a normal gas engine. Yeah, yeah. right. You're not really Very saving similar. the environment. 
Well, you're not really saving the you're environment. You're doing less you're damage. Drive an electric car, theoretically. They've done. There's well, you're doing concerning less numbers. Damage. Well, your electricity is still made by burning coal. Exactly. It's still more efficient than. <laughs> is it? Yes. As long as there's I, a charger where you land. I was reading a thing the other day that was saying, you know, it really comes out pretty close. You can Your recycle batteries. Was okay, priceless. well, if you do that too, I guess probably. But but will they? Will they recycle the batteries? It's yet to be discovered. Yeah. If we never try, we'll never know. Also true. It's like the vac- nuclear power. <laughs> oh, Almost yeah, got us please. canceled my first day back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I've got two other topics, and I don't think either. I, I, I guess I don't like any of these. But, but you never but, do. That's got, why I yeah. tried to implement. Hey, all remember this. when what you if... used to screen these by me, and then I was like, "Oh yeah, this topic probably don't uh, avoid that. Stay away from it." And then I don't I'd remember like, you oh, saying actually, that. Actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't greenlight all of your topics. Hey, I greenlit like 40% of your topics when uh, you did that. What if we brought McKinley on now and did the album thing? <gasps> oh, yeah. Uh, we got an album. We got an album. McKinley, does that work for you? You want to assign us some homework? Ladies and gentlemen, the return of uh, McKinley. We don't have a... Here, shove that over the... See the, see the piano stool? I just need to be on what? for like a minute to run something by you. Shove the stuff over the edge of the thing. I don't know what that means. Nothing in there is breakable. <laughs> the piano bench. <laughs> shove everything off of it. Just push everything until it falls off the edge of it. Just push everything until it falls off the edge of it. It'll be fine. He there you it. go. Now you have a chair. All right. Cool. Good stuff. No, and, and then pull the piano bench over to where it needs to be. Because right. you're not going to be in the shot if you're standing up. No, I'm not going to be in the shot. That's... Well, she's about to put you in the Disembodied shot. Disembodied voice, McKinley. You are kind of in the shot. Now. You're about to be inserted into the shot. In the shot. You're in the shot now. You're in the shot. He doesn't want to. That's his You're elbow. Your yeah. In the shot. <sighs> you may remember it from earlier. <laughs> Come here. Remember when sighing used to be on the bingo card? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody was watching. It's like, why didn't they say sighing? <laughs> no, nah, it would only have been people who were fans of a different show. Oh. How's it going? It's going Perfect. well. <laughs> there it is. Okay. This is so the setup. run this us, is the setup run us so, by this thing. Okay. Book club week. We're back. We're back with the album uh-huh. uh, club. Um, Nate, I remember you I asked recommended. For it. It's here. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just making words. Okay. Please continue. <laughs> it's the whole show. Keep making words. That's my advice. Um, uh, good so t-shirt. yeah. Hard be dardy bark bark. <laughs> <laughs> making words episode title I'm not gonna oh not gonna jinx it um so yeah yeah i have recommended uh the avalanches to you if you've listened to some of their stuff right yeah uh one of the one i've of listened the to their first album okay the first one cool well that works out then there you go. are they on spotify out. yes yes indeed the avalanches uh yeah yeah i am gonna recommend then if you haven't heard it one of the stipulations is i can't recommend something you guys are familiar with but their uh their new album we will always love you. I'm pretty sure it's called. We will always love you by the Avalanches. Cool. Um, yeah, full length album release. It's great. I think it's sometime in the last year it dropped. It was 2020, 2020 album. 2020. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I will say I strongly recommend their whole catalog. Well, there's a lot of uh, songs on this album. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many? Yeah. One hour, eleven a lot minutes. To talk about. I hope. Okay. Twenty five songs. Okay, well, there you go. December 11th, 2020 release. You can cut back on a listen through if you want to then, because that's like twice as long. No, as we have time. to listen to the whole album. We have to listen to in it at least week. twice. In one week. Well, no, by, the ne- by the time that we, by the time that we, 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 we will talk about it once everybody has listened reacquainted. all the way through it twice. Twice, okay. On separate days. You can't watch it. You can't listen right. to it twice in a row in the same day right. and it count. Right. This is this. These are the original rules of the game. I mean, game. I, just, I just want to be able to watch rules. along with intelligence. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. These are just the original rules. Whether of the game. I'm just going here back over them or for everybody. texting in, yeah. And anybody is willing, uh, allowed, and anybody who is willing is allowed to out. play along. Yeah, no, uh, not for our sake. Just stream just along, play along anyway. Yeah, do it. It's the avalanche. It's Listen baby. to them. Uh, yeah, yeah, their whole discography. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, wow. Are they, they the enemy of the mountain goats? Sort of above and beyond. They're the what? avalanches versus the mountain <laughs> <Yeah>. goats. <laughs> the, no, they're nothing like the mountain goats. Right. This is a lot of collaboration on this album. To joke about mountains? Yeah. A lot of the songs are yes, with other which folks. which is something they very much uh, grew into. Sampling and remixing was always a really big part of what made the avalanches the avalanches. And now, too, 
you know, to get respect from a lot of respected artists in this album, they're doing something exciting. Um, it's, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, Before you go off Mike McKinley, mm -hmm. me, um, have you ever, like, I, I had an album recommended to me recently, mm -hmm. I, semi temporarily. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, that somebody, they, they pitched it as fil scratching their avalanches itch. Have you heard of Superorganism? I've heard of it. Yeah. I, I got recommended that too, but I haven't yeah. got around to listening to it. I listened it yet. to their self title al album. You'd like it. I dug okay, it. Okay, cool. Cool. More music wrecks on the show. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, Side quest. I'm going to write that nice. down. If any of you at home want to uh, uh, submit an album for future rounds of book club, you can email us at prettygoodenoughpodcast oh, at gmail.com, or you can comment on any of these streams. I'll get the notifications, and I'll be able to see it. It doesn't matter which of the streams you comment on. The, the post logs, the live chat's a little harder to keep track of. Um, just an, uh, an album, an artist, and, and, and we'll work it into the rotation, and oh, we'll I all discuss one. it. I got one. Uh, you can email us at prettygoodenoughpodcast. No, <laughs> <laughs> you can, be, the you can be added into the rotation if you're a live person. But... <laughs> But remember the, uh, I told you Spotify was sending me um, uh, songs and my, your weekly yeah, list. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I'd just be like, yeah, I like that one. And I'd add it, add it, add it. And before I you knew it, I had like the whole album. Oh, nice. And I was yeah. like, what? Who are these people? And they're, now I, I think they're Caliandra or something like that. Hmm. I'm looking it up. Um, Thank you, McKinley. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, like I said, strong recommendation. Well, I know, uh, McKinley, Taylor, McKinley you recommended an Avalanche like, album. That's like me recommending a David Bowie album, but you know. <laughs> nah. It's bound to happen. It's, it's going to happen well. eventually. It's good. It's good stuff. Okay. Thank you. So long. Thank you, McKinley. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> Calandra. <laughs> K-A-L-A-N-D-R-A. -A Calandra. Calandra. Yep. And the album's The Line. Nice. And I was just like, before I knew it, I had all of the songs on nice. that album. Because yeah. nice. then it's like, hey, this is a playlist for you. It's called the Calandra playlist. I'm like, That's who cool. are these people? Nice. I hit play. I was like, oh, I love this song. What's the album name again? The Line. The Line. The line. Yeah. Cool. cool, 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 cool. Yep. I was listening to an album today called These Lines. Wow. Who's that by? Uh, we Are the Storm. Interesting. Short term project by Trevor McNevin. Oh man, I was of. a Canadian artist. Oh, okay. So you started saying short term, and so I'm like, S T. Oh, we are the storm. We are oh, the short term. <laughs> no, no, it's just we are the storm. No, yeah, it which was, was a short term project. Yeah, I think of, it was supposed to be a longer project, but there wasn't a lot of interest in it. Uh, yeah, he did. It was his hip hop. Well, storms are famous for being short term. Yeah, it was it was his fair. hip hop. But intense. Yes. It was his hip hop phase, and then gotcha. he does a lot of rock. So hmm. he's mm. well known as an alternative rock musician. But gotcha. Trevor was who? Like McNevin. McNevin. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I just love the. I, I, well I, I love the symmetry of yeah yeah. He's well known. Trevor who? I, I just. <laughs> I just I, he was a uh, lead vocalist for a Thousand Foot Crutch was his oh, okay. best okay. known work but he's also done a lot of solo work he's done a lot of smaller projects and this is one of them but yeah so it's not exactly like asking who chris cornell is yeah <laughs> <laughs> who <laughs> he hasn't released as much independently or at least under his own name mcnevin okay huh he recently released a single called you are not alone hmm <laughs> Cool. I thought that was by Michael Jackson, but <laughs> I'm old. No, that was a cover. <laughs> <laughs> cover from the future? Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, time travel, that's on the that's on the bingo card. Oh, is it? <laughs> Do we I talk about time travel a lot? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if we talk about know. time travel a lot yet. <laughs> <laughs> Nate's expression disagrees Thanks, with Nate. you. Thanks, <laughs> Nate. <laughs> no, no. In I, the future, oh. we do. <laughs> no, what were you laughing at? Oh, it was some somebody was something on Twitter, just NFT to, NFT guys posting their L's. It's good. It's good stuff. Their losses. Yeah. Uh, this is part of the thing. Some cool. NFT guy posting what quitting my job and doing full time NFTs for two months has done for me. A thread. One of twenty seven. Twenty seven of twenty seven. Bankruptcy. 
And that was actually just in 27 hours. <laughs> he That's just sad. keeps posting. Still, right. not, still nothing. It's rough. It's rough. People are taking screenshots. This isn't fair. NFTs, never once. Don't do it. Not for the love of anything. <laughs> yeah, just stop. NFT. Just stop NFTing. Cut it out. It's bad. If you want to burn down a forest, go to California and start a fire. <laughs> Interesting. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> NFTs um, are bad for the network. Right. Yeah. No, they, yeah. I've heard that spiel. I've heard Worse than I, any I, I don't remember it well enough to. Well, all cryptocurrency is really bad for the environment, but. Also true. A lot of energy to economy. mine all that. NFTs are the added advantage of also being fraud, like fraud? money money laundering. Oh, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. Well, that art gets that rap a lot, you know. Except this is like bold, like. It, it's almost it, like Hunter Biden paintings NFTs. That. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. is a thing, if it's I remember right, isn't it? Hunter Biden paintings. Well, Hunter Biden, aren't, aren't there also, aren't, uh, I thought the NFT thing was also a real thing. Maybe well, yeah. it's not. Didn't it? Yeah. No, the, yeah, yeah. I anyway. don't know if Hunter Biden made an NFT, did he? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't well, know they're, make, they're trying to make anything NFTs about from the, memes. They're like, yeah. my own is You can make meme. an NFT with anything. I don't know if you understand how memes work, dude. You can't own it. Public memes. <laughs> it's just a thought. We should start memeing Mickey Mouse. <laughs> we Guys, already, let's we do, already it. do. Yeah, but like how? Where? Hardcore. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of like. Yeah, let's give them free publicity. Yeah, but Disney doesn't Sorry, want that. Cynical. They don't want Mickey Mouse being. It, 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 it's yeah, but the what irony would you of have it's Mickey the Mouse one is the character like, that I don't know. Avengers you have to sex. find the, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure that there's don't some old sign Mickey up for Mouse. Disney that, Plus. Nah. I'm against Disney Plus. No, nah, I don't think it would work. Oh, we're but off the stream all of a sudden? No, we're still here. <laughs> nah. <laughs> What's no. that helicopter sound coming? Yeah, yeah. No, that's my new soundboard. Don't worry about it. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. But the, 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 yeah, no. There's got to be some. I guess we'll just stick to SpongeBob. Fine. Mm-hmm. SpongeBob <laughs> is just more memeable. He is very <laughs> memeable. I think there's better things we could do with our time. Well, that's you can say that about anything. No. What can you not say that about? What's the something you cannot you can do say? With the best time? things you can do What's with your time. What's the best thing that you can do with your time, Nate? Well, it depends this on the podcast person. is yeah. right at the top of my list. Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure that you could say uh, that. One of the best on things you can do with your time. Sleeping. <laughs> that's one of the best things you can do with your time. But not Hold all of your time. I'm not saying all oh, your time. Why not? No. Listening to um, Sandman while you're awake. That's uh, eating. That's one of the things you can mm-hmm. really good think use of your time. Yeah, uh, but whenever you're eating, there's something better that you could be doing with that time. Oh, but Is it's there? like saying yes. there's something you could be doing better with your car than putting gas in it. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm you what I'm saying is there is always yeah, it. yeah, but 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 any time that you are doing a thing, there is always something better that you could be doing with that time. Not if your tank is empty. I mean, you've you got to, to. Maybe there's a better thing. Point, maybe well, there's I'm something talking, better than driving you could be no, doing. No, I'm using. I'm using the analogy. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. know, Artie, Artie, bark, bark. I'm using the analogy but, too. I'm saying maybe so, there's something better than driving you could be doing at that time. But if uh, but everybody is knows, the car, everybody yeah. knows that the absolute best thing that you can do with your time is to subscribe to like the and pretty subscribe. much pretty good the pretty I much pretty much good podcast I pretty much good that. that's, that's I pretty fun. was I hoping so hard that's where you were taking it <laughs> and i'll say anytime you're subscribing to the pretty good enough podcast there's always something better you could be doing with that time think about it yeah that's why i came up with even better though <laughs> Of course, it's not running anymore. Like subscribing to is. the Even Better Though podcast. Yeah, which no longer exists right now. Oh, really? Uh, well, it only existed on Podbean anyway. We never had it on any It's not on else. Podbean anymore? I think it is. Go to podbean.com. Pretty Even Better Though podcast. Yeah, see what you find. And Cross Grain Radio on iTunes. If you can find that. I'll bet it's on iTunes. Coming to you live from the heart of the empire. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I might steal that. I might steal that. We need a. We need a. a We're gonna end up with a. Well, I don't Uh, pay them. That's how I steal from them. Just put that at the beginning of every episode. Yeah, no, I'm working on it for 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 the new because we have a new from the uh, underground bunker for people that weren't here before. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll 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 workshop it. They wouldn't Um, dare bomb us here. (laughs) I've got that soundbite now. It's good. (laughs) Um, 
<laughs> but uh, uh yeah no uh, the, the the show's getting a new name for anybody what? who wasn't in the room when we started i told you oh you but were it's there still for gonna be it's still pretty good enough it's still season volume, four but yeah or, uh, it's the pretty issue. good enough broadcast now and okay. there's reasons for that there's going to be changes made to the infrastructure which also if if there's anybody out there that, 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 that anybody You're from, firing from, me uh, no <laughs> anybody from if there's anybody out there that would like to re- be my dad um <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> wow oh. there's an opening <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's a big opening. Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man, I deserve this. <laughs> oh man, there's big shoes to fill. This is uh, a, and a rather large shacket. Shively humbled in video. <laughs> it's like, but, is this um, a shacket or a tent? Uh, Anyways, uh, no. If there's anybody out there from uh, 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 the, the the dumpster uh, creative squad or the 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 or Studio Garden or what have you, if 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 if, if anybody's out there that has made a creative thing that they would like broadcast somewhere and they don't feel like making themselves a YouTube channel, you can email us at pretty good enough podcast at gmail dot com. I want there to be like a a, a community art segment on the show cool. at some point that, that 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 we can just have a thing for 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 having the time spent looking at other people's stuff, not just our dumb faces. No offense to anybody else in the room i'll say my dumb face instead um yeah my face I, I, I have spicy. a yeah it's an instinct uh, to to group <laughs> pronouns that that uh, is another human thing i feel like whenever you're talking about yourself there's, there's, there's yes the, 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 you don't want to be alone. the instinct to hide within the herd yeah, even you when you're talking about yourself anyways um yeah yeah you can send them to send those to, to pretty good enough or a link to where we can find it to pretty good enough podcast at gmail.com if you'd like if you make products if you have an etsy that you'd like advertised and you want some free ad space on something nobody watches uh you can uh, 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 email us you at, are being shown to be a liar we're almost up to one million uh, ha, 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 it's like nine hundred thousand it's <laughs> great if you I would mean, like nine hundred thousand ephemeral you know, people to, to, to spooked <laughs> Um, um, what, be told about your product. You can email us at pretty good enough podcast at gmail dot com, uh, and 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 you can be part of the pretty good enough broadcast season four. I will uh, be interested to see if you crest over twenty five complete views over the week. Or who if knows? Everybody just watched live this week. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Usually we let's see. I'll pull up. Let's do the things that you're never supposed to do on. Let's talk about us. Streams. Let's look at our analytics on stream. Look at the graph. Do it. You should have Ani pick it up and just throw it up there. Yeah, no, but it probably shows things that you don't want to. Share. I also don't know how to look at yeah. uh, analytics okay. on yeah. here. Yeah, season three had like in a given week you would either get nine views, you would get twenty three views, or you would get thirty six views, and so. So your highest all time so far has been... 52. We have three episodes that are tied for the most watched. We have the pilot, we have episode one, and we have last year's Halloween special. All have the same exact number of views. That all tied Amber for the it, most. Right? Yep. Or yep. Sean Amber McKinley and Jacob are the three most watched uh, co- co- co-hosts of the show. It's a good I time. I my game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah. Tell that to Lauren too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> bring back the roommate. Hers are up there. She, she, yeah, she's bring in back the, the high thirties or low forties, something like that. Yeah, no. Anytime we have guests, we we usually get quite a few. Uh, I don't know. Quite like a bit the, of interest. The uh, Dad and Taylor specials are like the all time low. Uh, Seven. Well, those were pre recorded. They weren't live. Watching. It's all yeah. <laughs> just trying to write down the ideas that we were. Yeah, they were fun. Bantering back and forth. Good workshopping. Like what we'll be doing? Oh hey hey Nate, what mm-hmm. do you what do you feel about uh, uh, doing some 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 role play some 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 uh, RPGing uh, on the, on the stream sometime? I would be, be open very homebrew and be very sci-fi. How I'd you be feeling? Open to it. Awesome. Cool. Cool. You would be being given a character. How does that impact your ideas? I would be less enthusiastic, <laughs> but I would be open to it. Okay. Okay. I'd be willing to bet you that you would end up enjoying your character by this much. Yeah, your characters would be created by people who love you, to be fair. So the goal is still for you to have fun. Anyways, um, previews, previews, other cool. times on things. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be a fun time. Uh, yeah. I feel like we're out of show. We've got like eight minutes, but but yeah. I feel like we That's, might end early. That never happens. It never happens. It, it usually, yeah, I'm not usually the first person to say let's end. Usually it's people trying Sorry, to Nate. give me a look that means let's end. <laughs> I don't oh, know no. what to feel about that. Cool. cool. Wow. Well, 
thought it was time. I was looking <laughs> on my I was looking on my Twitter to see if I would ha- could find any topics on there, but it's all Dune. <laughs> wow. Well, why don't you tell us what you think? Yeah, what do you think of Dune personally? It was me? wonderful. It was a great adaptation. Are you being serious? I'm being 100% <laughs> serious. It was brilliant. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah. It's hard I agree. for me. It was a good time. <laughs> I thought it was good. Too much sand, but you saw it in that, theaters. It or you saw I it? saw it in theaters. Yeah. Do you have HBO Max? Yeah. Would you watch it again on HBO Max since you possibly, possibly? How long would you wait? A while. Interesting. Would you go Several see months. it in theaters again? It depends on who I was going with. What was the last movie you watched more than twice in theaters? More than twice. More than twice. Hobbit doesn't oh count. Oh my god! Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> um. I don't know, honestly. Hmm. What's How about last? more than once? <laughs> more than once? I honestly don't really? know. Really? Interesting. Okay. What about you? I usually only see a movie once in theaters. Yeah, Yeah, you, Ani. I, was like, I couldn't tell who you were talking to. Uh, the last movie I saw more than once in theaters was... Um, Alice Through the Looking Glass. No, definitely not. Right. Um, Alice in Wonderland. The, the first two of the sequels, the Star Wars sequels, I saw more, mm. or I saw twice in theaters, once with friends and the second time with my family. I wouldn't recommend seeing it at all it in was, theaters, either of them. I was fortunate enough um, to not have that happen to Yeah, me. both of them I think I saw opening night too. So mm. What movie? Star uh, Wars. Both of the first sequels. Oh, gotcha. The first two sequel movies. Yeah. Force Awakens and Last Jedi. Yes. But not Rise of Skywalker. Yes. By then you had learned your lesson. Yeah, Correct. no, I, I didn't see that until like a, a couple of years after it had been out. Um, Off Disney Plus? Yeah, I saw it on Disney Plus at my grandparents' house with my grandma, who was savage the whole movie, and it was great, and she was the best part of that movie yeah. for me. So, yeah, there, were, there was a scene toward the end where people are like falling over, and she had been having some uh, vertigo issues, and she was like, man, I could have been in this movie. It's great. Great wow. time. Wow, wow. What about you? Grandma Taylor? commentary is always fun. I think mine was probably uh, Avengers Endgame. I think. Oof. Uh, yeah. I had to get, it was just, yeah, I had to go see it with multiple people. What's your favorite movie that you've seen multiple times? In, in theaters. theaters or in theaters? In theaters. Uh, Blade Runner. I went and saw um, Blade Runner again after 2049? I saw 2049. Yeah. I'm having a really hard time thinking of any movie no, the that I've original. seen in theaters <laughs> twice. I didn't know. Fandango can do weird things. It's true. Mine I was uh, Fury Road. Cool. We got a new I chat. I loved seeing that. It was a very good movie. Hey, Google Sucks is back. Uh-oh. They Uh-oh. never Uh-oh. left. He Ari. duck duck goaded it. He's brought the heat. It looks like a long looks like conversation. Dune opinions. Ari Dune, it was great. Sad it was so compressed. But they did a great job of being authentic to the actual novel and characters. Yeah. Uh, I, I've only read like the first quarter of it. I went back and I made it further than the first six chapters. Good now. job with I've Audible. Read about or the first, like, yeah, yeah, book. with Audible. Okay, um, the I've, Audible book is really good. I've is it, it by some really the good narrator? He's is in it done there. by the same guy that Scott does, Brick plays uh, Paul's dad. Sometimes yeah, cool. he plays right. Leto. Interesting. Um, All right, I'll I'll get that then. I've got fun. some credits. It's interesting, um, but yeah, uh, and. While the movie was still in the part of the book that I had read, I, I was very satisfied with. They switched around some of the chronology. Yeah, that's but fine. it's minor. Yeah, it's an adaptation. Yeah, and they still add all the important stuff. Except I really missed um, one thing. I was sad about was there wasn't as much of the uh, uh, Paul and Leto talking about space politics, which I, for one, think can be done well. Uh, in a and book, I very much enjoyed it in the book, and I think that you could do it well in the in the movie. There would be a way to do it. You'd have to be like cutting away and having like voiceover and stuff. And, and, and no, I think you could do it. I think you could. Do no, it. Nate seems glad they didn't include that. No, they 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 had enough. There was enough. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there was. But I I think that if they we have an honest figured disagreement. out a if I think that if they had figured out a more interesting way to do the conversations it's fine about the book, space not politics, in the movie. we would have had the. Not in the movie. I don't know. I think it was really good in the book. And the I movie was almost to, two and a half hours long. I don't think that Nate's disagreeing. It was really good in the, the book. The movie was really long. We could have we could have had a fourth uh-oh, hour. Uh oh. We could have had a fourth hour. We said no. Jedi dude needs to read the first book in full. It's a great read. Yeah. No. I I haven't not enjoyed any of what I have read of it. I just keep falling out of it I for one reason or another. Uh, I'll I'll finish. Uh, uh, I'll I will finish Dune as soon as either Google sucks. or... 
ornate finishes one of the foundation trilogy books i'll make that promise at the hey, point that either of those things happen by Isaac Asimov. i will finish dune if one of you guys uh emails pretty good enough podcast at <laughs> gmail.com uh with proof of having finished how do you the do first that? foundation yeah. how by you Isaac Asimov. That you finished Is, are you gonna make me take a test send me either a screenshot of your audible playhead at the end or a, a picture of the last page of the book and then i'll take the rest on faith uh and well, also please read the whole book and well and part of it this reminds me of the yeah. books of summer mm-hmm. where part of the deal was as long as the person who assigned you the book had read the book yeah there would be able to be conversation. Right, exactly. So you don't necessarily have to finish it, but if you want to be able to counterpoint any point that might be made, then it's good to read the book. But for this deal, you guys have to read it. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, and then, and and I have no misgivings about uh, 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 finishing Dune. And I imagine I probably will before... uh, I, I will probably read it, but I think... And my current cue is rereading the Chronicles of Earthsea. So that'll take you a while. Yeah, maybe. They're I don't not know. They're long. pretty short. Are they not? They're not. Oh, hey, no, hey, they're hey, hey Taylor. Brief. Well, I hear the words earth and sea together, and both of those things are big. But so I picture a, good, a large I book. Taylor, we got a chat. Yeah, but what's our chat? I have already read the first foundation. Who is, wow, wow. Jake, did you there change you your screen wow. name? Is this Jace Prolin? It's not Jake. Okay. It's not Jake. Okay. Well, then this I have to. I'll go and I'll finish Dune then. I'll go finish Dune. I know who it is. Get wrecked. Is that Uh-oh. your dad? Get Uh-oh. wrecked. We're not it's gonna. Your dad, we're, isn't not, we're not. We're not gonna say who it is on screen. Shout out to to, to uh, <laughs> Google sucks. Our producer's father. Um, I am your father. allegedly, <laughs> possibly. It's true. Yeah, it's Darth Vader. Uh, <laughs> Jedi dude, I am your father. Nice. Um, but yeah. So now I have to finish Dune. How how terrible! That's Shout a, that out must, to Isaac that must Asimov. Really <laughs> it's the worst. Um, no, I'm just happy that there's more people out there that have read Foundation. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, okay, well, core Taylor, trilogy. After you read Dune, you have to read the Neuromancer. I have read the first <laughs> six uh, chapters. Few cha- I don't know how many chapters, but I've I've read or the beginning of it. Neuromancer. I listened to it. Honestly. I listened. Yeah, no, I've listened. I, I listened to the 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 first the opening bit of Neuromancer, and I loved it. I, I remembered the first paragraph of it for a very long time, and I th- remembered it it's as the first paragraph of yeah. Stranger in a Strange Land. And uh, hey, it's it's Nate's opinions on Foundation on our chat screen. My Second Dune, Dune book is okay. Third is weak. First is worth it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 the canonical opinions of uh, Dune, it's according to a Dune fan. Um, it's good. It's good. Yeah, my opinions as somebody who has not read anything past the first book, I agree, I are aligned with that person. Shout out to Correct Opinions, a uh, good friend of the show. <laughs> um, oh, that's a different person? No, nah, it's still Google Sucks. Oh. Wait, but he but yeah. said the foundation of the first book was best? No, no, he was talking about the enjoyment. Oh, okay. of Taylor misspoke. Books. You okay. said foundation. Oh, did I, did I say? Yeah, you said oh. speaking on foundation. Oh, well, I'm wrong. I said the wrong thing. That's all right. Whoops. I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we made it to one, this episode is in, in the books. Is. We did right, it, get folks. Get the guitar. Hooray. Right. I, I don't have a guitar on lightsaber me. this time. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, it turned itself it off while it was out of it. Yeah, no, it was supposed on. to already be on. I don't know if the, but yeah, this is. It's really lame. It, it looks really lame. It looks better oh, on the I camera like if I remember right. Oh, I meant we'll the see. power on thing. Oh yeah, the power on thing is pretty lame. But uh, yeah. There it is. That looks good. Yeah, no, we got, we got. We got a lightsaber, a mind trick. Okay, you want to subscribe? No, <laughs> um, it's it's, this is it's not the podcast to thumbs down. If you have any uh, suggestions for topics or uh, uh, albums or books for to be discussed on future episodes of the show, you can email them to us at pretty good enough podcast at gmail dot com. If you have any pieces of visual or audio art that you would like showcased on future episodes of the Pretty Good Enough broadcast, you can also send those to pretty good enough podcast at gmail dot com. If you would like any ad space. You know, you you know what to do. Um, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to everybody who subscribed. Thank you for everybody in the chat for your input. It's all, always awesome talking with you all. Goodbye. Thanks, Nate. 
Um, yeah, thanks for everybody who showed up. Uh, 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 thanks for indulging my self-important uh, uh, involuntary uh, studio building and live stream hostings. Good, good, good uh, hanging out and goodbye. Any, yeah.